think I think we are ready to go. There we go. <clears throat> it looks like everything's fine. Let me swap it over. Oh wait. Is the volume off? No, it wasn't. My bad. Back going. Alright. <clears throat> I think we are ready to go. There we go. Forty-two hours, huh? Grant, I spent a lot of that time for extra dialogue. <laughs> so last time on Thousand Year Door, while working for a hundred percent, we got every tattle log we could do except for the ones in the Pit of a Hundred Trials, plus like the two that I don't know. Then we also did every trouble except for the one that requires me to go to the Pit of a Hundred Trials. Then we got every badge in the game, except for the three that are in the Pit of a Hundred Trials. We also managed to get every recipe done. And then I ended the stream last time with getting every Star Piece location revealed. So now the plan is we are going to work on Star Pieces I got to try my hand at Prince Mush again. And then I think Pit of 100 Trials. I think that's the plan. Let's get this started. Left of the uh, stairs. So yeah, a lot of cleanup. And we'll probably tackle Pit of 100 Trials today. Because I'm going to be honest, I don't think Star Pieces are going to take that much time. Left of the stairs? Roeport Harbor? Let's see, hold on. Is it in here? No. Behind the barrels? It's here somewhere. No? Okay, what was it? <clears throat> it lies? To the left of the stairs, leading from Rogueport Harbor to the square. Oh, strange panel. I gotta really pay attention to that. You can use the hammer to find it. Left of the stairs. There it is. Alright, one down. Next one. Go through the alley under the cat rock. Spin pan. Okay. Basically in the back alley. Also, isn't there one, like, right here? Yes. There we go. Start piece. Now to the back alley. And I think it said over here. By Gunther? I'm pretty sure that's Gunther. I remember the hammer in the first Paper Mario game being able to flip those over. If you got, like, the final one, but I guess not here. The square near the path to the east side between... Oh, between the fence and the crate. Okay. And we'll use our, all the star pieces to get every badge from Dazzle as well. Right in here. There it is. Okay, turn sideways between two houses. It's behind a barrel. There's also a jump panel on the roof. Okay. Up uh, here. There it is. star piece. Let's go over here. Let's just flip the fall down here. Behind a barrel. Alright. Rust rogue port. In front of the door to the Pianta parlor, there's a spin jump. Okay. And then there's two in north rogue port. Spin jump near a toad girl. 
Uh, to the right of the pipe. To the blimp. Okay. Off to the west and north side of Roeport. And then it's time to go to the underground of Roeport. Alright, so in front of the Pianta Parlor, there's this one. Again, you can get a lot of these after Chapter 2. Actually, you can get basically everything going forward after Chapter 2. It's just, do you really want to be, be spin-jumping around? Only if you already know where they are, you know what I mean? Okay, I don't need that, but... There it is. Star piece. And then around where the Toad Girl is? There we go. Alright. Underground. There is... A few down here. Okay, let's see. Inside the second building from the left, before Wonky, there's a hidden panel. The, there's a sunken area with a moving floor near the where you enter the sewers. There's a strange panel. In the room with the pipe to the great tree. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll enter the sewers this way. So something about the second building, there's a hidden platform. Let's go ahead and check up here. I might, might be looking at this wrong. Back here? And I just like having Bowser's grunts whenever I use the hammer. Okay, hold on. Let me re let me check this again. Inside the second building from the left before Wonky. Which one's Wonky? Who's Wonky? Uh Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me get you Bella. Who's Wonky? Little Mauser. No. No, come on. There we go. Eddie. Subterranean Goon, but no, that's not it. Up here? In this building. Which one's wonky? Are you wonky? Yeah, okay. Is it in the building? They oh, okay. There we go. I see. Okay, and in, in this room is one. Where? Down here? There it is. Okay. And then the room on the way to the bog, onto Bogley Woods. There's another hidden panel. Right down here. I think it. Get rid of you. I think it's actually in here this room. Mirror, 
No, not here. Okay, maybe next to the pipe? There it is. Alright. There's... Okay. A couple in row port left. Far below in the great door room. There, it, there in the vast open area before the door. Okay, the room right before this. There's this jump panel. To the left of the room with the pit of 100 trials is behind the stairs to the entrance. In front of the black chest. Okay. We're close. And I think the start piece is in the room with pit of 100 trials, not the thousand year door room itself. So supposedly there is a hidden panel in this room. Not the thousand year door room. Not seen it. Not seen it. Okay, let's check back here in a minute. Let's grab this one. Oh, too close. Yeah, you can't be standing on top of it even by like a shoe, you know? You have to be next to it. check throughout here. Not seeing it. Is it up here? Hold on. In the great door's room, there in the vast open area before the door. Wait. Fast open area before the door? When it says before, it means in, does it mean in front of the door? I'm pretty sure it means the room I was just in. Actually, there is one way we could find out. We could find out. Okay. It seems like it meant this room. Fast open area before the before the door. Okay. It didn't mean the room before the before this room. Okay. I yeah. Wording's a little bit weird, but I think it is actually correct. All right. Now we need to go into the pit of a hundred trials room. Right here. Alright. That should be all of... Yeah, all of these right here. Okay. Easy going bird. There's two jump panels. Near the flower and butterflies by the gatekeeper. In the castle in the leftmost cell. So there's three in chapter one that I'm missing. Granted, there was it was impossible for me to grab them within Chapter 1 itself. I had to at least beat Chapter 2. And... Well, I think the t trouble to do the hide-and-seek game was after Chapter 1, but before Chapter 2. So either you can save the hide-and-seek game for after chapter two so you could get the star pieces in one go or you could get the star pieces uh you could grab the star pieces when you go to do either the miss mouse one or the when you go back for the bobbery uh power up thing after chapter five and there's that star piece Uh, 
And I remember finding this one. Yeah. I remember finding that one. But we couldn't open it. Alright. Now on to Hooktail Castle. Again. For the final time, hopefully. Okay. Just swerve around all the enemies. Because there's no reason to fight them. Oh, yeah, the only enemy I had to go find for the title log. Granted, it could pop into the Pit of Hunter Trials, but I wanted to get it beforehand. Uh, was the Maisy Daisy. That was the only enemy that I went to go find to tattle. I didn't want to tattle in the in the Pit of Hunter Trials only because like that's wasting a turn that I might need in Pit of Hunter Trials, you know what I mean? All the way to prison room. Not this room. Leftmost cell. Uh, okay, I knew it. Well, I don't have my normal setup. Just gonna have to deal with them. Oh, duh, you have defense. But it was very stylish. I'm not gonna use Rattery. I'm just gonna get Bobbery. Get out of here. Blow him up. There we go. Would've been faster to run, but... I didn't do that. Get Ugun back out here. I think we made it. There we go, finally. Although one of them's gonna chase after me. Go away. I know it's not this room. I already know it's not. The leftmost cell. Leftmost, leftmost cell? Is it the Colorado room? It's the Colorado room. Okay. Never mind. Oh, come on. I got caught on the wall. How many of there are there? How many, how many are there? Okay, fine. I'll deal with it. Well, that worked out. already still on Yoshi. Okay. Back to the room that had the red bones. I guess I misunderstood where it was actually at. It's through here. In this room. In the leftmost cell. There we go. Got it. We're done here. Let's leave this castle. That should be all of the star pieces in chapter one. Yep, that's all of them. Let's get a hook tail and then I'll, uh... 
And I'll go ahead and look up the next ones. Another trip around the world to get the last of the cleanup done. When we get to Glitz Pit, I think we'll take that time to attempt Prince Mush again. Because I, I need to. All right, let's see. Where you can see the Windy User's House, hit third tree on the left. In the third Windy User's House, in the room, there's a hidden panel. And there's three inside the Great Tree. So let's go ahead and... What's the fastest route? Fastest route would be to just go back to the warp room. Even if it leads back to the Great Tree. That still might be the faster route then. Going back to Rogue Port. Uh, getting all the way down to the warp pipe. To the, north, to the front entrance to the Great Tree. Or to Boggly Woods. I'm not sure. Maybe someone can time it. What would be the fastest route from Hooktail Castle to... Uh, specific, specifically Flurry's house, I guess. Would be the best... The best way. Because if it was gr just Great Tree, yes. Like, this is the fastest route. But to Flurry's house, it's still probably this. But I'd be kind of curious um, if it was timed. Alright. Here. Made it. Here, turn into plane. Okay, good. I'm going the right way. I thought it, it was one of those cases where it still depended on where you face, but no, the game just points you in the right direction no matter what. It might have been that way in GameCube. Oh, wait, third tree on the left. There we go. One of those trees. Ah, uh, okay. Whatever. Off to Flurry's house. And then I know we need to go back to the Great Tree, so... I'll just get to the entrance. And then I'll, uh, look them up. Actually, I think one of them is in... The... The Blue Cage. I remember that one. Favorite 2D Mario game to play on Wii. I can only think of two, right? Isn't it just New Super Mario Bros. Wii and Super Paper Mario? Aren't those like the only two, what would be 2D Mario games on Wii? Or am I forgetting something? And it also depends on how, how much you count Super Paper Mario in that because, you know, RPG mechanics and all that. It sounds like a trick question to me, but maybe I'm forgetting a game. Do we count the 2D sections on Super Mario Galaxy? <laughs> because that those games have 2D sections, right? is newer Super Mario Brothers? Is, isn't is that a ROM hack of new Super Mario Brothers? Wii? You see, I haven't really played many ROM hacks and stuff like that, so maybe down the run, maybe, maybe at some, maybe someday. All right, hold on. What am I missing? Uh, okay. Inside the Great Tree, the little, above the bubble room, near the pipe that goes up, there's a hidden panel. Above the bubble room, okay. Blue cell. And four pillars carved in symbols behind the pipe. 
It's a perfect sequel to New Super Mario Brothers on Wii. But it is a ROM hack, right? So, I hear there are some good ROM hacks. But, like, I don't go searching for them. Honestly, I just kind of wait for to be like, hey, like, Ant Dude made a good, made a ROM hacking video, a compilation. Be like, oh, there's a, there's a couple in there that I like. I should give them a try. And then never try them. <laughs> Even though it's on my to-do list. So in this room, it's head above the bubble room. There we go. So right now we're in post game, BJ. Uh, we are doing cleanup, getting all the star pieces done. I I was told that there's something for 100%ing. So we're getting all the star pieces. Uh, I still need to defeat. Uh, I'm sorry, Prince Mush. I gave him a try a few times. I, I need to try again. And then, uh, other than that, it's Pit of 100 Trials. Is it Antu more of the Kirby than... Yeah, he's more... He's definitely the Kirby guy. But he's done some... He's done a video on Mario ROM hacks. So that's how I found out. That's kind of how, how I find out about some of these ROM hack stuff. And then I, I need to go to the... Basically the shoe upgrade room. Well, yeah. Uh, he's did, he did a video on Mario ROM hacks. So that's how I found out. That's how I know about new, newer Super Mario Brothers. But I didn't remember it until you mentioned it. Sort of thing. Fan games and ROM hacks. Basically have all the Mario games. Very nice. I know I'm missing a lot of stuff. When you say you have basically all the Mario games, do you count spin-offs or are you or are you caught I'm sorry. Are you counting just mainline stuff? I have a decent amount of Mario, but I don't literally have everything or anywhere close. I would say I have all the RPGs, but that's a lie. <laughs> uh, I still want to own a copy of the 64 game. I just have, like, the virtual console versions. Uh, I want... I don't have Color Splash or Origami King. I do have Sticker Star. I have both. I have both GameCube and Switch of this, so that's... You know, Spin-offs do mean donkey. No, uh, oh, that's a good, uh, that's a good distinction, isn't it? Uh, I, I don't, uh, okay. I guess with Mario, we have to establish what's a spin-off and what's not. Uh, I consider Donkey Kong, Yoshi, for sure, Donkey Kong and Yoshi, I consider their own stuff. Maybe I count Wario as its own thing. Oh, wait. Uh, wrong room. Okay. And with Peach, I don't know. She only has, like, two games. Super Princess Peach and, on the DS and... Oh, what was the... Uh, and then Showtime, the one that just came out. Wait, is it, is it not this room? I thought it was this room. Uh... With the four pillars carved with symbols, but be oh, behind the pipe. What about Louis? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Behind the pipe. Uh, Luigi, Luigi's mansion. Oh, I don't know. Luigi only has like three games, right? Just the three Luigi's mansion game. Is this not the right? Behind the it said behind the pipe. With the in the room with the four pillars. Am I thinking of a different room? With the four pillars carved with symbols behind the pipe. Well, that's not. I can't get behind this pipe. Maybe we need. 
Maybe we need to separate Luigi. Uh, when I meant spinoffs, I meant more of like Mario Kart and the sports games. That's more what I meant. Donkey Kong and Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Yoshi, and Wario definitely feel like they have their own thing going. I don't know. And I guess you could count Luigi's Mansion in there as well. Anyway, over there is the shop. I need to figure out what this is. To me, or not spin off anything. Anything that says Mario in the title to me is not a spin off. Hmm. So you're saying the sports games are not spin off because they have Mario in the title, right? Is that what you say? I mean, I consider like the platformers to be mainline Mario, right? But like sports and party games to be spin offs of Mario. But again, with Mario, do you count the Wario games as spinoffs? Yeah, it, it's a, it's weird. And also, you could make the argument that Mario itself is a spinoff because remember, he was in Donkey Kong. It was Donkey Kong's game. Mario's a spinoff of Donkey Kong. He just got more popular and got a lot more love from Miyamoto. Up to date, yep, counting. Oh wow behind the pipe. There it is. Okay. There we go. Found it. Now we can leave. I don't have that much of a Mario collection. I have a decent amount, but not that high. That's for sure. I really need multi-jump back in. You know what? I'm just gonna run. Uh, it was in the arcade. Donkey Kong came out in 81, yeah. Where's badges? Um, what can I unequip? Yeah, we can do, we can do this for now. If I run into another set of enemies, I won't, I won't bounce. So, I know I have like a decent amount of Mario. It might be easier to tell, say what I don't have versus what I do have, but like I said, with the RPGs, I have all the, actually, I was going to say I have all the Mario and Luigi's, but I don't have the 3DS versions of Superstar Saga and Bowser's Inside Story. And I don't have an original Super Mario RPG, I just have the remake. I don't even have a virtual console version of it. Sports games, I only have Tennis 64, uh, Soccer Wii, and Baseball GameCube. I don't even have a Mario Golf. Any version. Yeah, BJ, is it easier to say what Mario games you don't have, or do you have a full... Oh, you said you have up-to-date. Okay. Off to the Glitz Pit. Uh, let's see. With Mario Kart, I don't, like... Okay. I don't own a copy of Super Mario Kart unless you count uh, the SNES Mini, because I do have that. I do have it on there. Uh, I don't own a copy of Power uh, Double Dash. And I used to have Game Boy Advance, but I sold it, but I have the 3DS version download. I might re-get it again. I just didn't think it was that great. I also don't have DS. I'm actually missing a decent amount of Mario Kart, don't I? Oh. I have 64 Wii. Uh, 
3DS 8 Deluxe. Huh, I have less Mario Kart than I thought. I need to pick up more Mario Kart. But yeah, the only new Super Mario Bros. games that I also have is just the the Wii game and the Wii U game. I don't I don't even have the Switch port. Yeah, I'm I'm mis uh, with Mario for me. It's like I don't get every Mario game, but like I get a decent amount. Far in front of the arena, before the star, strange panel. Oh, maybe in the. To the left of the ring door. Promoter's room. Oh, right, in the storage room. Yeah, uh, you mentioned you were in the arcade when it came out. So, yeah, you, you are definitely older than me. That's for sure. But I have a decent game collection myself. I just uh, Mario's nev was never really a top priority for me, other than maybe the RPGs, and even then I still don't have all of them. Supposedly there's a hidden panel somewhere in here. Where is it? Before the star. Right, uh, do we know what date they're going to talk about the next Switch? I know it's this month, thanks for reminding me. Before the star. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong spot. Oh, is it in the champ's room? Do we need to get, do we need to be the champ again? We might need to be the champ again. this room next week okay thanks for reminding me I'm gonna have to look into that because I am very I am very curious on what they're gonna do ah there it is but I think it would be in their best interest to basically do a switch to that's backwards compatible with all the Switch games. I think that might be in their best interest. However, now that the Steam Deck is a big competitor for them, they m really need to consider upping their game, probably. That's just kind of my thoughts, but who knows? It's Nintendo. Maybe they'll just be like, nah, we're just gonna do something completely different. <laughs> Can I not? Can I not go in? I have to be the champ. I have to be the champ. Okay, well, we're spending time on in the glitz pit. Wait, PlayStation's really gonna try another Vita? Are, are, are you serious? They're really gonna try? Next opponent will be, yeah, glitz pit. It sounds like we have to be the champ again, so we're gonna be doing this. No flower points. Got it. The Here's the thing. Like, at least in America, PSP did okay, but Vita did not do well. Granted, I think in Japan, Vita did very well. So, I'm surprised that they're gonna try again. I skip, uh, we're gonna be doing Glitz Pit. We have to become the champ to get the other star pieces that I missed. Yeah, Xbox never does well in Japan. But remind me, didn't didn't Sony move their main office to uh, America? So 
I thought they kind of just stopped caring about the Japanese audience, like, mostly altogether. Yeah, Xbox never did well in Japan, that's for sure. I actually don't own any Xbox consoles. I was always a Nintendo and then PlayStation. There we go. Bingo! Not that it was needed. This would go faster if I could freaking use my FP, but no, don't use FP. Ah, uh, Atari. You see, like, the f for me, when it comes to, like, how old I'll go for video games, NES is just kind of, like, the farthest I'll go. For me, a t anything before that is, like, to me, very primitive. And also, most of the games are, like, what? Multiplayer, high-score games. And usually, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of those. They could probably be fun for, like, a few minutes if you have a buddy with you, but to me, like, I don't know. For me, NES is, like, the farthest back I'll go. But that, that is just me, you know, where the consoles I mainly grew up with was 64 GameCube. Next opponent, KP Koopa. I ha I have to take damage at least five times. Um. Does it count that I have so much defense that they can't hurt me? I might have to redo the sword. <laughs> I I am at, I am now curious. Is am I too strong? If you don't take damage. Okay, well, it sounds like I have to run. <laughs> I, I I am too strong. I am too strong. I am pretty sure uh, they can't do anything to me. Here, look. We'll just appeal. We'll waste time. Can the partner take damage? I'm too strong. Well, we'll find out in another turn. It has to be me. It just says take damage five times. I don't think it specifies. Well, the partner took one. Let's check to see if it counts for the partner. Granted, let's be honest. It'd probably be faster if I just run away or win the fight and then just try again. At this point, this is experimentation. Okay. Three. Three. Let's appeal again. It doesn't specify who takes damage, but it probably means Mario. We'll find out. Oh, it counts! Get out of here! It counts for the partner. Good. Now that you have taken all all of the damage. Get out of here. I'm too strong. See? This is because of this is why I exper experiment with this. Now, for future reference, you will know that the partner counts. Except, I will probably forget the next time I play this. And because the partner has taken damage, I better heal up. But yeah, we'll be the champ again in no time. This will be way easier. I'm too strong. Look at my batch points. Look at my 81 batch points. Soon to be 84. Okay. 
match. I would have played this game for the GameCube, so I do have some experience with play this particular game. Again. Yes! I have played this game for many, many times on the GameCube. Partner skill at least twice. Got it. I don't think it specifies FP, so I could just let the partner attack. Yeah, I've I've played the GameCube version plenty of times over the years since it came out. Oh, we're at the Pokies. Partner skills at least two times. So what I can do is I could get I can get Coops in here. I will take out the one with the life shroom. Now I'll let Coops take out. All right, duh. Well, either way. I should have taken out the one with the earthquake. My bad. Wait, I don't remember every single detail. Kind of interesting that the quake doesn't uh, flip over coops, even though it kind of works like quake hammer. All right, I might as well get rid of you. Shell toss. There we go. This counts. But have you? Uh... So I do have. Some yeah. Have you played this version yet? We're like almost done with it. Bought it, but I haven't played it yet. I see. Yeah, I knew I had to buy it. Mainly because I want Paper Mario to go back to how it used to be. How I the back to the glory days. That was the first two Paper Marios. I am very curious on what the sales of this game will final uh, be in the end. You know, I want Nintendo to get the message that we want Paper old Paper Mario back, or at least in some form. Dead bones. What do I need to do? Don't swap partners? Got it. I got it. It's mostly the same game, but there's a couple changes that uh, really helps with backtracking. I will always try something new and original that's more their style. Yeah. I might be getting my hopes up, but I have to try. I have to at least try. Don't swap partners. Okay. Yeah, intelligence systems. Whoever's in charge is just like, no, we need to have things be the paper gimmick. And it's all about paper and things. It's just like, we can't even have the partners back? Can we have original character designs? Like, look at Jolene. That's a very unique design. We wouldn't get a Jolene in modern Paper Mario. Basically. And I do like Super Paper Mario. I just don't like how it's not... You know, it's just basically 2D Mario, but with RPG mechanics. One special move? Okay. To me, with Super Paper Mario, if, uh... If, if, it, if it was under a different name, it would have been received so much better. But when you already had two games in this particular style... And then for the third game, you decided to change it completely to something it wasn't, aka not even RPG. Well, then, you know, 
Kidney was very annoyed, that's for sure. And we'll just use him to try I was very upset with Super Pepper Mario. But then over time, I'm like, yeah, it's a good game on its own. It's just not a Paper Mario game. Although it's more Paper Mario than Sticker Star, that's for sure. Sticker Star, like, I have made it all the way to the final boss. And I still didn't beat the game. I was just like, this, this is bad. I just don't want to play anymore. I made it all the way to Bowser. But that game structure is just not good. It's not a good game. But no, like, overall, I say this version of the game, when you look at, like, gameplay and, like, some improvements to, like, backtracking and stuff as well as some extras this is the superior version in, in to, when you compare it to the gamecube so it's definitely worth it also it gives people a modern way to play it and not spend hundred dollars to buy a gamecube copy you know avoid using special moves okay that's easy Yeah, what is your particular favorite Mario games? GameCube copy? Or about 10 bucks at GameStop. Uh, my copy right here is 15 I bought it for like $15, so yeah. At least I got it when I did. Although, I checked after this game came out. And it looks like the GameCube copy is now about 80 bucks. So it's not as bad as it was. I think when the Switch copy came out, prices went down a bit because people were like, oh, why would I need to play the GameCube version when the Switch one exists? So I, at least that's good. GameCube version went down. At least a little bit. It's still more money than than the Switch copy. <laughs> but, you know, GameCube's very nostalgic right now. Pandemic had a big factor in that. Uh, it says bestseller on mine. It's not a player's choice, though. It just says bestseller. Oh, you got an original copy. Very nice. Wrap it up in five turns or less. Okay, that's easy. Sadly, uh, the spine... I don't know how this happened, but you could maybe see on the spine how it got tore here. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> but that was how it was like when I bought it. It probably would have been 20 bucks if that wasn't the case. But hey, it's a minor annoyance to me. You know what probably happened? There was probably a, some seller, probably at, game, at a GameStop or a used seller, uh, had the sticker on the inside, like the sales sticker. You know, when someone tore it off, you know, took off some of the spine. That's probably what happened. To me, like, it doesn't necessarily matter, more or less, if it if I get a player's choice or a be or a bestseller. Granted, I'm I feel like I'm less likely to pick up a player's choice because the spine is ugly. <laughs> but if that's like a good ver not a good version, but if it's like significantly cheaper, I might oh I would consider it, you know. Uh, zap tap. I have Zap Tap equipped. Because I'm doing badge only, uh, 
partner skill at least twice. Easy. Because I have so many badge points, I just figured, oh, let's just throw Zaptop on and keep it on. Like, there's no reason not to. After a while, it's just like, sure, why not? I have the badge. I have the badge points. Du I do have double money. Uh, apparently, this version gives you another... Oh, no. Uh, there's another way to get double double money. I'm sorry. There's two uh, There's two double money badges in this game. Hey, Sydney. How's it going? So right now, we're doing cleanup. Getting star pieces. And then I found out I need to be the champ again. So I'm becoming the champ again. To get, like, two star pieces. I am doing fine. Again, I'll, I'm not saying I'll get this done today. But we're doing a lot of the cleanup today. But yeah, uh, BJ, there's two double money badges now in this version. Uh, one of them's the normal Pianta Parlor double money badge you can get there. But there is also a quiz game in creepy steeple that you talk to the ghost or the boo and apparently he'll give you double money if you get all the questions right yeah right now we're really just trying to go for star uh star pieces sydney but two of them require me to become the champion of the glitz pit again I still need to fight Prince Mush. Oh yeah, look. Look at all these star pieces I need to gather. There's a lot I need to gather. <laughs> you get four times the money? Yeah, I know. But at this point, I actually don't need money. There's not much I need. Uh, void, don't use my hammer. Got it. The princess don't want the kids to bonk people with hammers. Is that yes? Oh, are you saying if you put double money? Oh, I actually don't know. I would think it would be double. I would think it would be four times. The client like the VTuber you told about? Very nice. At least that went well. That was my day today. Mostly fine. Not much happened other than what's going on here. So, it's a pretty chill day today. Don't use my hammer. Got it. Ah, uh, messed that up. Oh well. Ground pound. Oh right, you have defense. I forgot. I forgot you have defense. Well, I have defense as well. Get out. Yeah, it's fine. I'll take the one HP of damage. I'm okay with this. At least I did not use my hammer. But yeah, uh, maybe we could test out the double money. Oh, wait. I don't even have the other one. I don't even have the other double money. I just got the one. So I can't test that out unless we played the tube game for a little bit. The only badges I'm missing right now, BJ, are the ones that are in Pit of 100 Trials. Like, I was only planning to get, basically, the badge list complete. Next opponent will be Iron Adonis. Take 5 H... 5 damage. Fine. Okay. You're, you're ready, Ugump, <laughs> to get attacked. Because I'm too tanky. <laughs> Alright. Take damage at least five times. Well, Oogump, it's all up to you. Chapter on now. I beat the game. <laughs> We're in post-game right now. 
but we're doing stuff in chapter three for star pieces. Oh no, four damage. I might need to heal. Right, two more turns. I was told there's something for 100 percenting so that's what we're doing. And I found out... The BOOM! I don't have Bobbery out, though. <laughs> uh, okay, so one more turn. You know what? Let's just get Sweet Treat going. I don't have Bobbery out here. No kabooms. Again, I still wish they added more Yoshi colors. But no, they didn't do that. Just get a little health back. There we go. He got hit five times. Alright, time to eat him. Get out of here. Now we could go up to the major leagues now. We're closer to becoming the champ. Again, for the second time. Go to the Major League uh, locker room. Yep. I have upgraded. So how mad are the Iron Dawn Swins that we beat them again with the same strategy? Like, they haven't figured out how to cover that weakness. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, let's heal up. Heal up again, and we'll start the next fight. I think I have a stra... Not a strategy, but I... Might be a little bit more confident when fighting Prince Mush. We might try something else. Next opponent will be Tiny Spines. Do not do... Wait. Oh. Let the partner attack. Okay. Okay. Mario does nothing. I get it. Okay, this is all the partner's doing. What do we got? Okay. What is the best way to handle this? First of all, I'll just let Mario defend. Not... Not Yoshi. Does Bobbery break through? No, I don't think so. Oh, actually, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I remember something. Oops. Shell Slam... Apparently, Shell Slam ignores defense. I found that out when I was looking up Prince Mush information. I found out S Shell Slam and Flurry's Lip Lock ignore defense. At least I'm getting some money out of this. Not that I need it. Oh yeah, Sydney, uh, now that you have finished the VTuber drawing that you were told to work on, you got any other projects in the works? Poker faces. Don't use items. Pretty simple. Hmm. 
Not lately, I see. So, like, other than stuff that you, uh, basically, uh, get hired to do, do you do stuff on your own time? Or do you just save drawing for, basically, work? So, on Etsy, pick up a thousand your door for the N64. Oh, right, yeah, the, yeah, there's a ROM hack for... For the 64 version where it adds a bunch of stuff from it has a it adds a bunch of mechanics that were in thousand year door plus some extra areas and stuff it's actually kind of cool from what i saw looking for a project from yeah i know i know Get, i'll probably look into it here soon Definitely want to make sure the logo and banner come in first, at the very least. I'm definitely going to look into it. Uh, appeal to the crowd three times, okay. Yeah, uh, I know Thousand... Uh, there's that Paper Mario TD, TTYD64 ROM hack. That looks pretty cool. Uh, I think there was another Paper Mario 64 ROM hack. It's... Uh, not, I heard something about the Black Pit, but I don't know much about it. That's, that looks like an ad to me. Please, none of that. Appeal to the crowd three times. Dark Star. That might be it. Uh, I know there's a ROM hack for Paper Mario 64 that... Uh, I'm sorry. Where you could fight every boss at the exact same time. It's like a challenge. And the game runs very slowly because it can't handle that many people, <laughs> that many bosses at the same time. Oh, this is not good. I just made it worse for myself. Oh well, made it work. Definitely gonna need to heal after this. Made it. You know, if I was more thorough, I wouldn't have to beat the champ again. Is there any ROM hacks for a uh, Thousand Year Door GameCube that's worth noting? Yeah, Black Pit. Yeah, I knew about that one. What's the specifics of Black Pit? Also, there's, um, what was it? There's like a hard mode for Paper Mario 64. It's like, uh, I think it's just called hard mode or master mode, something like that. And the, it, apparently it was so difficult that they made a, like, a, a not-as-hard variant. <laughs> because it was that difficult. Avoid using any flower points. Okay. Yes, I am. I am. Uh, this is what happens when you have uh, 84 badge points to spend. And, you know, you're at post-game anyway. We'll see how it goes when we go into the Pit of 100 Trials and get to the near-end stuff. But granted, I, I have attempted... I have attempted uh, Prince Mush multiple times. And he is tough. And the fuzzies can't do anything. 
I mean, look, when you deal, like, how many damage per jump? You know, a total of 12 right there. I mean, everything just goes down. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sydney. Thank you. Let's see. What's next? We're almost to the champ again. Just a few more rounds. And then the true champion. The first champ. Well, I can fight him already, but still. Next opponent, uh, Magic Koopa Masters. Don't take 20 HP of damage. Got it. <laughs> that will be easy. That will be easy. Actually, yeah, the final boss took me some... Took me a few attempts. Uh, I did not have the HP. I went back to get some different items. Rearrange my badges a little bit. Final boss took a little bit. That's for sure. Okay, don't take 20 HP of damage. Got it. Got it. And then one more multi bounce. I could be doing seven damage if I put Jumpman back on, but I don't want Jumpman yet. I I I, uh, I need I, I need the ability to swap for Prince Mush. You think they'll remake Super Pepper Mario? Super Ga Mario Galaxy 2 for the Switch 2. <sighs> hmm. Galaxy 2, I can easily see them doing another collection like they did with 3D All-Stars and just be another port. I'm surprised it wasn't there in the first place. But I can easily see Galaxy 2 being in a collection like that. Super Paper Mario might... I can kind of see a remake because if this did very well, they might try it. Prana Daddy. Do not take it. No, let the partner attack. Got it. Stream Injustice 2? I have... Uh, okay, I have dabbled with Injustice just a little bit. Uh at like someone else's house, but I have not played that many fighting games, so I'm not that great. And also fighting games with with me, with how I stream things, fighting games is kind of a weird, uh, kind of a weird gray area. It really depends on like how much content there is to do. Like, is there a story mode to do? Is there things to unlock? If we're talking like classic, arcade games or arcade fighting games where it's just the classic louder you know it's just like what do I do do I play as every character and beat the game that many times or fighting games is your second collection very nice I hear the injustice games are pretty good and also doesn't the story connect between both games so would I need to play the first one as well I do know the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are there, so I have reason. <laughs> I, I have reason to play. Even though they're like DLC. I'm usually someone that likes to... When I get to play a series... I like to go in order, mostly because it's like seeing the evolution of how mechanics and the games progressed over time. Yeah. Maybe I'll look into that someday. Uh, the first Injustice, isn't it like just Steam and PlayStation 3? Okay. 
Gear Luck and playing Street Fighter. I mean, yeah, I know, I agree. I, I know that. That's usually how I play. It's not, you know, it's not a hard rule, but that's typically what I like to do. <laughs> yeah. I have tr okay. I picked up Ultra Street Fighter 4 not long ago. I got it on Steam. It was like three bucks. And I tried booting it up the other day, and I'm not used to... I don't think I've played a Street Fighter game before, but I'm, I don't know why. I don't know if it's just it's the game, the Steam version is just not recognizing my, uh, my controller. So it's like changing some buttons around, but I just, I'm just having trouble getting used to like how the combat is altogether. Like there's something off about it that I'm just not getting combos down. Okay, let's see. Uh, Hemma, Bamba, and Flare. Don't use flower points. Okay, that could be done. I should point... Uh, the fighting games that I have dabbled with, like, more than just, you know, just a match or two. Okay, let's see. Uh, Smash Brothers, if you count that. But I play a lot of Smash Brothers, so I'm familiar with that. Uh, traditional fighting games. I have messed around with Blaze Blue a little bit. Like, the first two games. Although I do have the other two. And I have messed around with... Uh, oh, what was it? The JoJo fighting game, All-Star Battle. I did story mode for Dragon Ball Fighters, And... You know what? I'm going to leave Arena Fighters out of this. Because if I throw in Arena Fighters, I played a decent amount of Naruto games. But traditional fighting games, I would say it's mainly Blaze Blue and uh, and the JoJo fighting game. Although I guess it's kind of whatever. But the common thing about those two games, Blaze Blue and JoJo, how they work is that they have a light attack, a medium attack, and heavy attack. So I'm kind of used to that format right now. And when swapping to Street Fighter, it has like a completely different system. And again, I don't know if the Steam version is just not recognizing my controller and changing things around. It's hard, it's hard to tell sometimes. But I do want to give Street Fighter 6 a shot. It looks fun. there. Actually, let me look up Injustice. I know Injustice 2 is probably PS4. Like, I know I could get them on Steam, but my computer isn't the best of streaming higher-end higher, higher end games and, and streaming at the same time. I can't really handle both. I tried Elden Ring. Apparently, it didn't go well. But, okay, I'm the only one that can attack Justice. Let me see. What do we got? <laughs> okay. What what system has that come out for? Uh. Okay. PS3. <laughs> Wii U. Oh, there is a PS4 version. Okay. I could probably pick up that copy at some point. And I'm no. And I'm pretty sure Injustice 2 probably exists on PS4, so yeah. So I was Justice, I could probably just pick up PS4 copies at some point. Don't let your partner damage my opponent. I am so strong I can ignore these guys' defense with a single jump. Why don't you appeal? So, like, if it's, like, higher-end games like Elden Ring, some people want me to play, like, Souls-like games, right? I basically have to say it has to be a console version if I were to stream it. 
I have, uh, when it comes to basically streaming games from my computer, I have streamed a GameCube game on the GameCube emulator, and that seemed to work out fine. And I'm pretty sure PS2 games would be fine on uh, streaming wise on my computer. You have to head out? Alright, see you later, Sydney. If you don't show back up, have a good day. We have... I think we made it to the champ. Or we got one more fight, I'm not sure. Are we... are we fighting Rock Hawk? Okay, next opponent will be... Koopanator. Oh no, I forgot about Koopanator first. Oh, wait. Don't jump? But that's my whole strategy! I guess I'll probably just use, like, Earth Tremor. And... I guess, like, Shell uh, Slam or something. Don't jump. I got it. I, well, I can use Power Smash. Can't flip them over, though. I don't have Quake Hammer. Alright. Uh, if I need to ignore defense... Shell Slam. One more turn will do it. Tekken Soul Calibur. They're alive. I have not played any of those. Although, like, I wouldn't mind trying them out. You know what I mean? And fighting games are not necessarily ones that I play that much. Uh, other than, like... I picked up Naruto fighting games, but that's about it. Naruto games and Smash Brothers. And those were my main, like, fighting games that I would end up playing. But when it came to, like, traditional fighting games, not so much. I'm more recently starting to get get into it here and there. Well, yeah, I'm looking to give some more shots. Actually, uh, I have played... Uh, because it's on the Switch. I have played the first Fatal Fury, and it's technically like the arcade version. And I've tried playing the second one, and uh, I can't beat it. <laughs> okay, no conditions. We can beat Rock Hawk Alzui, please. Let's get. Uh, I'm pretty sure he has defense. So we'll get. Uh, uh, when I was when I was playing the first Fatal Fury, there's only three playable characters. So I figured, okay, this is an old fighting game for the arcade. Let's just uh, beat the campaign as each of the three characters. And I figured, be like, okay, that's good enough. And eventually, I did do that. Geese Howard was a little bit hard the first time, but then like I kind of figured out his pattern. Playing fighting games is one thing, collecting them is another. Yeah, I bet. Okay, Gonzalez, the only man to ever wrestle the belt away from you. That's all ancient history. There's only one true champ, and that guy is Rock Hawk. One of us is walking out of here with the belt, and the other one's getting rocked. But champ, Gonzalez showed no signs of rust in climbing back up the ranks. He shattered his own records one after another. How does that strike you? Hey, shut your trap, or this Gonzalez won't be won't be the only one feeling the rock. I'm the champ, and the story. I'm a legend, and this legend is about to rock that dude. Big words from the champ, and now the challenger who needs no introduction. The former champ returns, the superstar sequel, the great Gonzalez. I didn't realize there was new dialogue. It probably always was the case. Whoa, they're going wild. Title matches are so awesome. This rules. Let's do this. Wow. 
Listen to the crowd give it up for, uh, give it up for the brave challenger, the great Gonzalez. It's been a while since these two met, but who will emerge victorious this time? The battle is ready to begin. Ring that bell. Get ready to bat brawl. But yeah, so when I was trying out Fatal Fury 2, my mindset was like, okay, let's beat the campaign uh, with every character, right? All right, Gonzalez, we're, we're fighting the champ. I'm so fired up. Ha 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 Time for you to meet the new, improved Rock Hawk. Feel the uh, horror of a world-class rocking. Can't do the voice that well. Anyway, so I do, I'm do. i doing my first playthrough, and I get... There's safe states, which I don't care at this point. It's an arcade game. Uh, I get stuck on a couple guys, and then... I get to freaking uh, Billy Kane, and he is cheap. What? Billy Kane is super cheap. I didn't mean to do that. Because he has a power pole type of weapon. He can literally reach you from the other side of the screen. It is super cheap. And like, I can't really get close, and every time I attempt, he always no he reads my inputs, obviously. I can't duck underneath the power pole. So I can't hide from that. Uh, when I try using... Oh, what's, it, what's it called? Uh, burning Wave? Like, the shockwave move that follows along the ground? He has an anti-air move that will hit along the floor and stop Burning Wave. So, my range attack doesn't work on him. And, like, my other specials are close up. I actually can't hit him. Vivian? Oh, well. I didn't get the burn. And I'm still stuck on Billy Kane. He's that cheap. I think at some point, I might just pick up the next Fatal Fury and just continue on because it is so cheap. I'm actually gonna get rocked again. Well, who could have seen this coming? You put, you couldn't plan for a more fur uh, furious battle. You bought Fatal Fury for the Wii. Is that the collection of Fatal Fury stuff? Extreme battle of the high, very highest caliber, but there could only be one winner, and this time it was the great Gonzalez. Congratulations, Gonzalez! Once again, you are our champion. We got the champion's belt again. Give him a hand, folks! The new Glitz Pit champ, the great Gonzalez. Yeah, eventually I might just move on and try a different Fatal Fury because, oh, Billy Kane, he's so cheap. I, and the thing is, I hear Mark of the Wolves is a really good fighting game, and I do want to try that. And I also heard that, um, oh, what was it? King of Fighters is really good, and I wanted to try that, try that out, too. So, is there one in here? In front of the star. Okay, doesn't seem to be one in here. However, I do need to get to Jolene's room. So, we Fatal Fury is just Mark of the Wolves Dreamcast emulator? Or Dreamca Dreamcast port? Okay. That's also another thing. I don't have a Dreamcast, so some of these games I have to... Actually, I think I think Mark of the Wolves is on Switch, so I can at least play it through there. Oh, behind the plant. Okay. 
They wouldn't let me in Jolene's room unless I became the champ and snuck through the air vent. Alright. Far in front of the arena, before the star... Oh, maybe it's outside. In front of the arena. In the arena's first floor lobby to the left of the ring door. Okay. Also, speaking of uh, Fatal Fury, a friend of mine told me that in Street Fighter VI, they're adding in... Uh, oh, look! Because I'm the champ, I have a crowd. Well, sadly enough, you all have to leave. But yeah, I hear that Street Fighter VI is adding Terry and Mai as DLC characters. And I guess Fatal Fury's getting a new game, I think, this year? If not this year, then, like, soon enough. So Fatal Fury's coming back. That's something. And it's been... Fatal Fury hasn't got a new game since, like, what, 98? Something like that. Alright, there's something... It said something about in front of the star. Oh, did it... It meant this one. There, okay. I mean, I still had to become the champ. I still had to do that. Okay. Now, since we're still here, let's go ahead and give Prince Mush a go. Let's give him a try. Again. I think I have a better idea. I think I have a better idea of where the super guards are. Brand new favorite. City of the Wolves. Oh, it's coming out next year. Okay. I do... like. I'm kind of getting into Fatal Fury here and there, but I haven't played too many games. I'm, I'm at least... Gr I am glad that it is getting a new game at the very least. All right. I did see a strategy for for Prince Mush. I think I'll put Piercing Blow in. We'll keep. We'll basically keep these two, just in case. Um, I think I'll actually throw in Charge, and I will also throw in Hammer Man. I have to super guard him anyway. Prince Mush? Dude, this is like my 10th. <laughs> this is like my 10th time try attempting Prince Mush. He is hard. He's not easy. Um, is there anything else? We'll stick with Hammer Man. Because I'm really the only one that can do something. And... Okay. Makes ash action commands easy, but earn less star power. That's not what I need. I need to defeat him once, and it's a, it's a super boss fight. So. Oh, by the way, there's a badge here where if you equip it, it just plays the GameCube music. You could get that right away at the first badge shop for one coin, so that's cool. No first strike. Action commands easy, but earn less star power. That doesn't count super guard. Timing tuner, don't need. Don't need peekaboo. Super peel. I might throw that in. Can we find? I don't need zap tap. One thing I was looking into, I was looking into if return postage would work against him, and no, it doesn't work against him. So, I already know that's not going to work. Maybe there's something else we could go with. <sighs> as much as I wouldn't mind equipping this, I don't think this is the right call. Why? <sighs> this is not the right call. I don't think. No pain. I mean, I could throw in another one of those. As long as the action commands 
being executed successfully. I could throw this in. All or nothing. Hammer throw's not helpful. Head rattle's not helpful. Ice smash is not helpful. Yeah, you know what? I'll put all or, all or nothing. I get my action pans right anyway. Yeah, I know. Like, it's cool that it's finally getting a new one. Alright. I don't really have any items, and that's fine. So you probably haven't seen this Prince, Prince Mush fight, have you? Because it was added here. Time to give it another go. It's time for my match. out before so okay uh it is a hard fight let me show you the tattle log which by the way once you tattle someone you can access it anytime mid battle all you need to do is press the start and you can tattle check he has six attack and six defense none of my partners can do any damage Except for Miss Mouse, who ignores defense. Coops with Shell Slam, that ignores defense. Flurry with Lick Lock. Lick Lock, that ignores defense. Without any power pluses, they are the only ones that can actually deal damage to Prince Mush. And Prince Mush has a stance change mechanic. Right now... If I were to have attempted to use a jump attack, he will just dodge it. But right now, he could be affected by hammers. So what I could do... Okay. And now, I will go with Rally Link. Okay, let's go with another piercing blow. Alright. Now, let's see. He swapped his stance. If he does that jump attack and he hits you, as you can see, he could drain your FP. I cannot hit him. He's on his jump stance. So I'm just going to use my... I'm going to charge. And I guess I'll just let Goombella just hang out because she can't do anything. Save the FP. Okay, now he swapped his stance. Oh, I got the super guard. Okay, and here's the big factor. If you successfully super guard Prince Mush... He loses his stance, and he has zero defense. Punch. Okay, so that was 13 damage. Now wink. Power smash. Same amount? Okay. That didn't matter then. Power Smash is useless. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Okay, whatever. I can't do anything reliably. So, how about I sweet treat to try to get my stats, uh, my health and FP back for a few turns. So yeah, ideally with Prince Mush, actually, here's the thing, 
You have to learn how to super guard him. That is a must. It is mandatory. And we got rid of the Dizzy. So I'm just going to... Actually, Rally win. Okay. Here's some blow. Again, if I didn't mention this already, Prince Mush is immune to every status effect. Now he get, he's going Super Saiyan. And he's changed his stance. And I did not time that right. I can't do anything. At this point... At this point, he cannot be hurt. Watch. He blocks every move. And I failed. That's basically how far I get. You have to super guard him. That is the only way to break his stance in the second phase and actually deal damage to them. That is your own that is the only thing you can do. I think you could see why I'm having trouble with Prince Mush. Oh, wait. I didn't... I didn't mean to fight... Oh, okay, I guess we're fighting the champ again. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, um, before I go fight, just let me, get, let me sleep. Yeah, the only way to beat Prince Mush is you have to master the, the super guard. That's the only way to hit him in the second phase. First phase is pretty hard, especially when you didn't know about his stance change thing. I didn't mean to do this, but we're doing this. I didn't mean to do this. I guess we're fighting the, uh, the former champ again. Okay, fine. We're gonna, we're gonna beat him. And that is the reason why I'm having trouble beating Prince Mush. And But you know what? It, it basically, I fully understand why he was the first champion. It makes perfect sense on why he was the first champ. Yeah, it's extra two damage. Oh, also, he is immune to zap tap and return postage. That's another factor. So that's why I took off zap tap. It is completely useless. It seems like there is uh, another one. I don't fully know who it is, but based on a potential spoiler that a YouTube video posted and I saw in the thumbnail, I might know who it is. But I officially don't know the extra super boss. Here, let, let, me, let me show you what I mean. If you go into the tattle log, at the very end, Here's the Shadow Queen. Here's Prince Mush. There's one in the middle. But if you look over here, Hooktail, Gloomtail, and this is where Bone Tail would be. So there is another one. And I don't know what it is. Well, I have a theory, but I kind of wish I didn't know. 
Thanks to YouTube thumbnails for spoiling it for me. Now. Yeah. Okay, let's try Prince Mush again. I was hoping there was uh, simplifier actually affected the chance of a, of using super guard, but no, that's not what the badge does. Go right ahead because I think I already know it. Okay, he's on his jump stance one, so I will go ahead and charge. And you can't do anything, so it's just a feel. Oh, Atomic Boo? I mean, uh, we already fought Atomic Boo. Unless you meant the... Oh, I did get that right. Unless you meant the Dark Atomic Boo? Maybe? It, maybe, I don't know. I don't know how you would set it up, though. The one in Poshley Heights, I'm assuming, is what you were referring to. Boo was already in the normal game. The dark one. Ah, I can't get that right. The dark atomic boo was like a secret boss that was cut. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll charge. But I don't think it is a gi another giant boo. I don't think it is. Uh, I'm not getting that right either. Well. Okay. Wink. Again, I'm not sure what else I could do against this much. Literally, this fight is about getting good. That's all this fight is about. Okay, he's going Super Saiyan. I can't hit him. Instead of charging, I'm going to Sweet Treat. He might... I probably won't make it, but, you know, I gotta try. Okay. There we go. Got some FP back. Got some health back. I'll let Goomba appeal. So as you can see, you can super guard him in the, in the middle of his combo. Okay, I need to heal, but I really need to hurt him now. So at least get one of set. Valley Wink. Alright, as much as I would love to attack him right now, Sweet Feast. Oh, by the way, I don't think I mentioned this. He's immune to the Crystal Stars. So, Earth Tremor, uh, Earth Tremor, Supernova, Art Attack, he's immune to them. 
Because he cheats, somehow. I don't know how he does it. He cheats. I'll take it. It's nearly full health. Swap to his other stance. Ah, oh, dang it. That would have worked out fine. Okay. Well, this is it. Power lift. Prince Mush has, has used the Konami code, yes. But instead of extra lives, it's just broken stats. I can't do anything, so I gotta hope for the... I gotta hope for the super guard. God! Oh my god! Okay. Okay. Uh, power smash. This is it. This is it. Rally wink. And then one more power smash. That is it. That's Prince Mush down. Oh my god, finally. So strong. You've got me beat, Mario. And you were here. <laughs> to see this happen. Who could have seen this coming? You couldn't plan a more ferocious battle. Wild moves, raw power, flying fists of fury. What beautiful, what beautiful destruction. This was without a doubt, and arguably, definitively, absolutely, completely, an extreme battle of the very highest caliber. But there could only be one winner, and this time, it was the great Gonzales. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, he deserved the champ belt. He deserved it. I hear Mush. Oops. I make that Prince Mush has something to give you. I just saw him in the hallway if you want to catch him now. That's all. Take care, Gonzalez. Uh, that i done many attempts yesterday and I couldn't get it to work. But... Uh, I looked up, not necessarily a video, but I looked up a, uh, it was like a, a GIF showing his attacks, and I could see, kind of see when they activated the super guard, so I had a better idea of when to activate it. But seriously, like, that, it was one of those cases where it's like, if you don't know how to super guard, you can't beat him. Mario, thank you so much for that incredible match. We put on quite a show up there, didn't we? I know I gave it everything I had. We should both be proud. I have a gift for you. Consider it a thank you for being such a great opponent. I hope you'll take it. Prince Mush's belt. A belt matching Prince Mush's and a sign of his friendship. I'm ready and willing for a rematch anytime. And I intend to win it. Dude, you probably will win it. Oh my god. I, as far as I know, it is literally just bragging rights. That's all this is. But, and that's what we got for getting all the cooking recipes. Okay. Let me put my badges back in order. Let's see. I don't want that. Unequip Hammer Man. I probably would want Jump Man. We might keep all or nothing. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's put Zap Tap back in. Was there something else I added in? Doesn't really look like it. But I need to put my jumps back in. So I guess I'll unequip All or Nothing for now. For now. I'll probably add it in later. Multi bounce. 
And I'll leave it at that. Alright, it's back to the star piece cleanup. Yeah, very hard fight. Very hard fight. Okay, uh, what's next? Twilight Town. Behind the house on the left in the inn. There's a, a spot in front of the shop. Beyond, behind the pipe and the fallen tree and then creepy steeple. Okay. By the way, BJ, I don't know if you know this, but you probably saw, you saw already, but the warp room got updated and it's glorious. Like, this warp room is amazing. Look at that. Look at that. It saves so much on backtracking. Seriously, the whole general light uh, joke is actually, do is actually uh, not that bad anymore because of this. So, right around here? Let's say over here. There it is. Okay. Then there's a hidden panel somewhere around in front of the item shop. Something new on the switch for. Uh. Wait, where is it? So, let's see. What do you mean by something new? Because the Prince Mush is new. I'm pretty sure these notes here are new. Uh, in our sight. Wait. Where the shop is, hidden out of sight, behind a barrel on the right in front. Oh, probably inside the end. No? No? Did it wrong? In here? No. I, I must be reading it wrong. Okay, go behind the counter. There's a barrel. Oh, over here. Oh. And you want to see something that saves on backtracking? <laughs> Creepy steeple. And here's the parrot room. That saves so much on backtracking. Get that later. Space between the far and the near. Wait. In, okay. I see. Torchfield basement. Oh, I need to go through the well. Okay. Let me crawl through the wall again. Go, go to the right. That pipe right there saves so much on backtracking. However, that pipe does not unlock until after you go to after you go to the room with the parrot for the first time and get the letter P. Because then you can open the door. Or there's a big uh, super hammer block in the way, and once you break that, the pipe opens up. So you have you still have to do backtracking, but it saves that final like last two sets of backtracking. Okay. Uh, 
Aw, dang it. Oh, just the one? Okay. Back in the mansion on the right, that's supposed to be two staircases. Eh? Two staircases. Wait, which mansion? Oh, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? Which mansion are we talking about? Oh, creepy steeple? At the right, that's supposed to be the two staircases. It, there was always only one staircase, if that's what you mean. There was always only one. Here? Oh, wait. I, no, I see it. There it is. Okay, got it. Yeah, there was always only one staircase. Uh... If you recall, there's the switches on both in both hallways, and that's how you move the staircase. Wow. All right. Let's go grab the one more. Yeah, you had to move the staircase. With either hallway you go to, there's a switch that moves it up or down. You have to move it down first, so that way you can grab the key, and then you move it all the way up so you can get to Duplass. Behind here. There we go. Okay, we're done here. Off to Keel Hall Key. Other than the Nintendo Music Badge, it seems like they didn't add any other badges, now that I think about it. They added one new recipe to the Switch version for cooking. There's one new one. Uh, it's specifically the, hot, the spicy dog, or the hottest dog. Apparently that one was added. Now that we're here. Okay. Go right from the pier until you go near the rock. A strange panel. The pipe room you were in was in the original Paper Mario game. No, it wasn't. So if you remember, there were two rooms with four sets of pipes. One of them led to Petalburg. One of them led to the Great Tree. One led to Keohol Key. And the other one led to... Uh, possibly heights. What they did was they just took out those two rooms, combined them into one, and then added a few more pipes. The rewards, like the shine sprite, is still in here. With the There's also the two blocks in the back. So those are still there. They just kind of combined those two into one room. Then they added a pipe straight to the warp room that's in the center of town. Okay, uh... Go right from the pier until you go near the rock. There's a hidden panel. Behind the rock in front of the inn. Near the stones that look like the siblings. So behind there. Right from the pier. So over here. Actually, hold on. Let me do something. Because... If that YouTube video spoiled me in the way I think it did, and by YouTube video I mean the thumbnail, 
I really need to, like, tell YouTube, no, don't recommend this channel to me. It spoils stuff for me all the time. Yeah, the tall pipe leads back to the center of town. I think the thumbnail of that YouTube video makes it seem like whack as a boss fight. Uh, once you enter the warp room, there's a switch. And you just flip the switch. It's very simple. Uh, you cannot enter the room on the right. There's two doors. The door on the right has a, uh, I think it has a lock. No, you needed flurry. You needed flurry to open that one. But what you can do is if you are able to go to the west side before flurry, you can use your paper, paper mode to get to the door. You don't need the spin hammer to get past the, to get to the door. I thought I would be trapped because I thought it was, it still worked like GameCube. But it seems like... But they thought about that, so... Yeah. It, so the video, the thumbnail makes it seem like Wack is a boss fight. And if he is, then we just gotta hit him... I don't know how many more times. How many items do I have? I can hold four more. Because if I remember correctly in the GameCube version... You would, uh, you can hit him, and after you hit him so many times, he'll just disappear for good. Like, he will permanently disappear. I believe in GameCube, if you look in the files, there was supposed to be a fight with Waka. But it was never fully implemented. I did save before this, and if this is not the case, then I can reset the save. Let's see. I know we're going to have to mess around in the grotto for a little bit, but... I'm just seeing if this is actually the case. What if I talk to you? Kind of say the same thing. How many times do I need... How many more times do I need to hit you? Is he saying different stuff? I think I'm progressing. Like, after I hit him. Again, if this is not the case, then I will just reset. I only I only bonk, uh, hit Waka when necessary. Okay, wait, he's just gone. He's just gone. Here, I'm gonna reset it. So either it wasn't a spoiler. Or I did something wrong. Oh, hey, Luigi's in the back. When'd you get there? You weren't there earlier. Or I didn't see you there. Maybe because I finished all of his stories? I don't know. Okay. We'll ignore Waka then. Now I need to head towards the grotto. Okay. Again, remind me. Uh, I actually don't remember if this was the case in GameCube. But... Was this spring here in GameCube? Or was that added in for Switch? I feel like it was added in, but I might be misremembering this one. Okay. 
Okay, so there's a hidden star piece on here somewhere. Oh, right here. Alright, in the grotto we go. And there's four? No, there's three. Okay. Far above the sluice gate, a big waterfall. And there's a glowing panel near the path. It goes on to the right. There's a hidden panel, okay. Lots of barrels on the left side. Probably the storage room. You'll find it in a barrel. Oh yeah, and I remember that one. Okay. It was added because I remember climbing the steps instead of jumping on any swing board. Yeah, I... I remember not having a spring there. I remember having to go around the piranha plant, slash fight it, and then have to use Yoshi to go the long way around. I remember that. I just wanted to know if I was misremembering. Because I thought I might have been misremembering. But no, this game really fixes backtracking. And that alone makes this the superior version. <laughs> The only thing this didn't do that I wish they would have changed was let you uh, accept more troubles than one. More than one trouble at a time. But no, they didn't. You still have to do troubles one at a time. So in this room... Right there. I knew there was something in here. Yeah, nothing here. I think it's in this room. There's a hidden panel. Let's get rid of you. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Now, it makes it seem like it's in the storage room. The one that I missed. I was holding it. Come on. I was holding X. Was it because I moved too soon? Okay, I went up here earlier for some for a shine sprite, but I must have missed the star piece. Oh, I see it. I see it. Okay. I see. There we go. And that should be it. Okay. There's one in the sh in the train itself, cabin four. And then Poshley Heights. Okay. So sadly, I cannot take the warp... Actually, I can't take the warp room. I could just take the train on the way back. Actually, hmm. I wonder if they fixed it. So one thing I read that uh, is in the that affects the GameCube version, I just found this out like yesterday. Apparently, you know how there's a hidden panel in the engineer's room for a star piece. I found that one. I re always remember that one at the very least. But apparently, in GameCube version, the panel is not there if you're riding the train on the way back to Rogueport. I don't know why. It's probably a uh, a way to avoid a duplicate, potentially. So I won I'm wondering if the panel I need to get in 
uh, Cabin 4 is the same thing, where it won't be there on the way back to Rogueport, but it is on the way to Boshley Heights. I guess we're gonna find out. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but each, uh, each chapter, once you get into like the main dungeon, they have their own battle theme remix. So that's a nice touch. head back to the workroom. We'll take the shortcut to Poshley Heights, and then we'll take the train back to Roqueport. Here. Almost there. Here. Get. Ah, dang it. Got caught. But because of Chunk Man and Multi Bounce. There we go. Get out of here. Again, if there is a super boss, which there probably is, another one. I don't know where it's at. Two Poshley Heights. Yeah, so if you recall from the GameCube version, there was one room that had a normal uh, super block that you need to spin. There was a Shine Sprite here, which that's how it was normally, kind of in the GameCube. And the stone super block one was over here. They kind of just fused everything into one room. And this warp right here takes you to the center of town. So it's nice and quick. Could probably use it here in a little bit. Oh, another thing I was kind of hoping for. So we still have the bow cameo. But we don't have the a cameo from any of the other partners, other than Paracarry, I guess. Because in the files of the GameCube version, all the other partners were modeled in the game. So there's something over here? No, this side. Hmm. There's something I'm missing. Okay, hold on, hold on. There's a hidden panel. There's a pool over here. And I guess it's in the pool? Or behind the pool? Of course! Why, why would it not be in there? Why would there not be a killer fish? Ah, okay. Behind there. And what was the other one? on the train buy a house with the archray of roses before the station there's a subtle gap in the hedge an archway of roses there's a subtle gap yeah i think it would yeah is it here? No. I thought it would be here. And we don't need two, right? Yeah, it's not two. Here? No. No, nothing. I'm missing something. 
that's in the back. Behind the house. And there's no way from in here. Doesn't look like that. Oh, come on. I didn't mean to do that. There is a... Not there. No? Why does it seem like I can see it? Oh, wait. There it is. Okay, I, I see. Okay. Now let's go on to the train. And we need to go to cabin four. Back to the ghost room. Too far. There we go. Everything else is chapter seven, right? Yeah, okay. Chapter 7. On the path to a snowy outpost to the left of the pipe that leads to Roveport. Not far from where you enter the outpost. Close to the cannon. Leads from the snowy outpost to the sewers below Roveport. Okay. And then there's one on the moon. Okay. One on the moon that I missed. Everything else is in Far Outpost. There we go. We'll take the normal route to Far Outpost. I'm not going to use the warp room. Left of the pipe. There we go. And then everything else is in the far outpost itself. What does the sun sprites? Uh, the shine sprites power up your partners. You need three shine sprites to power up your partner. The star pieces, which is what I'm collecting, mainly lets you trade badges to dazzle, but there is another use for them. Actually, there is another use for shine sprites, now that I remember. So, there's a sound gallery. If you get every shine sprite within a particular chapter, you basically unlock the sound test for that particular chapter. You have to beat the chapter, and you need every shine sprite for that particular area. Chapter 8, you get after beating the game, because there's no shine sprites there. And specials here, too. These are just kind of miscellaneous, like, you know... Just kind of miscellaneous songs that don't belong in anything in particular. But you unlock this after beating the game as well. Everything else, you need every Shine Sprite 
and you need to beat the game. Art gallery is kind of similar. Beat the chapter, and you need every star piece from that chapter. I didn't, I didn't mean to do this. So there is another use to getting shine sprites. And, well, I, uh, and star pieces. Okay. Made it to far outpost. And... There's one. And I think the other two are in this area. One's along the wall again. Okay, hold on. There's a hidden panel to the left of the cannon. There it is. Alright, what was the other one? On the path to the pipe that leads to behind behind the wall in, in the front right. So this pipe behind the wall in the front right. Over here. It didn't say it was a hidden panel. There's not a hidden pathway or anything. Okay, hold on, wait, wait a minute, hold on, let me read that again. On the path to the pipe that leads from the snowy outpost to, oh, it doesn't mean this one. I think I know where it's at. I could have gotten it. There we go. There it is. Got confused. All right. <clears throat> All that's left is the star piece on the moon. And that's the last one. Go. Let's take this up. We'll go down the normal way. I think this will be faster. This is such a good, such a good teleport room. Such a good fast travel. Go through here. gotta warp ourselves to the moon sadly they won't let us fire the cannon at least not that i'm aware i'll trade with dazzle later once i get the last one again i thought this place self-destructed but i guess we can access it again probably just one of those uh we don't want these collectibles to be permanently missable, so you're going back. Alright. need to get to the surface of the moon. First floor. Is there a bug? I think a bug landed on me briefly. Oh yeah, I just saw it. <laughs> it appeared off camera briefly. Ah, uh, stupid bugs. Let me 
me see. Oh, and thanks for the follow, Pearl5. Hope you at least enjoy the background noise. Where is the last star piece? Near the pipe on the moon, just beyond a large crater behind a small stone. So, right over here? No. Right over here? No. Here? Yeah! Made it! And that is every star piece. Every single one. That's done. Time to head up back. Time to head back. Uh, come on. Oops. I thought I just entered immediately. Yeah, what's going on, Pearl? What's going on? Assuming you're still in here. Anyway, what's left? I think it's just a bit of a hundred trials. I'm trying to think if I have enough time to get the full thing done today. And I'm not sure if I can. I mean, maybe we could get far, but I don't know how far. Prince Mush and becoming the champ again took a while. all the badges, I guess. Granted, with all my badges, I think I could get through at least the first few sets of rooms in a relatively decent amount of time. Put on trials. Could try it. Actually, uh, BJ, if you're still here, do you mind looking up if there is another super boss and how to fight it? And not necessarily tell me what it is. Unless... Uh, another flower saver. Probably don't need that. Because maybe we could do that. we go. We trade all badges to you. Or whatever. Let's see. The wackest bunk I have is fine. We could try going with this and see how far I could get. Well, let me look through my badges. Okay. I am a jump man. Uh, I don't th do that, maybe. We keep those, we keep those. Power plus, yeah, we'll keep. You know what? Hold on, let's unequip Shrink Stomp. And maybe if I get another level up, I'll put in all for no all or nothing. Can maybe unequip damage dodges, maybe. Actually, you know what? Let's unequip the two damage dodges. I try not to guard that much anyway. I might put them back in later. Let's actually go with pretty luckies. I don't actually need flower saver. Everything else is just kind of working fine. I don't need anything else. Hmm. We're kind of okay on items. I could try... I could try the pit. And try to see how far I can get. I made it to the first 50 floors. Because I already have the strange sack. But other than that... Hmm. I don't know. I 
wonder if I can get there pretty quickly. Do I need to heal? Yeah. Sadly, first attack doesn't work, I don't think. Unless I hear otherwise, let's get this started. Yeah, first attack is not going to work on this. I could definitely speed through a lot of this. At least the first 50 floors. We need to tattle. And we need to get to the very end. Okay, Pit of 100 Trials is a good place to get money because every time you beat a fight, you have a clear bonus. And when you get a clear bonus, you get extra money. It mostly happens after bosses, but for uh, it happens in the pit, too. I still have all or nothing. There we go. Yeah, let's just see how far I can get. Fright mask? Okay, maybe we can use that. I wonder if we could get a mover. And you know, with Jump Man, I can ignore spikes. And you know, being able to deal a total of 17 damage for a single target is ridiculous. No, not 17, 14. I'm done. Uh, it's a little ridiculous. on going. We do need to get to floor 50. For the trouble. We'll get to floor 50, and we'll see how much time I have from there. How about that? At the very least, I could complete the trouble, but I don't know about much more after that. itself is the fastest part. It's like all the loading that takes longer. I mean, we've been through a good... Excuse me? Another power jump badge? I did not expect that. They weren't even holding it. They weren't even holding the badge. I mean, it's power jump, but... Hey, that's kind of cool. But again, if you... 
equipped two with the same badge, it increases the flower points spent, but increases its power. So that's... That's a strategy you could go with. I really hope we can get some movers. Last time I went here to floor 50, I don't think I found a single one. See, like the amount of time it takes to load in like for the proper fight right there it's just like come on i want to take them it's one guy i want to take him out chance to actually get the mover is. Oh, I see. It has to wait for all the star points to count up. That's what it's actually waiting for. Again, I am not 100% sure if I'll beat this. Try. Honestly, I would be more confident in this run if uh, I didn't have to become the champ. <laughs> come on, come on, attack me. There we go. Got him. cleared. Again, the first 54s are probably going to be... Actually, I don't know about simple, but... Because yeah. I remember some of those, like, the last 10, like, 40 through 49. There's some tougher enemies there. I should be able to handle them fine now. Helps I have the HP. damage oh yeah definitely multi bounce I am just that strong Ugum. you have much to learn my young battle Pokies. Uh, I should have used the hammer. Probably figure I shouldn't be able to jump on them. But if you look at this, to bounce. And that one's gonna revive. Okay, luck. Okay. No, that didn't matter. Um, I'll just grab coops. It's not gonna hurt anything. There we go. Yeah, I'm getting one star point per fight. At what point will I start getting two star points per fight? At the very least. I mean, I don't need a Mr. Softener. I'll take it for now, I guess. But, monkey bounce. There we go. Again, when you have an attack power of 7, it's a little ridiculous. 
And if I were to throw in power up defense down, that would be an attack power of eight. I don't know. That's a little overkill if you ask me. Oh, I was going to say, like, what's here? There we go. At least the pit's going through. I thought about swapping to Hammerman, just to change it up. And also have access to Fire Drive, Pierce Hammer, Hammer Throw, because you you can take out enemies that way, but overall, Jumpman's better. Like, it's just objectively better. Honestly, if you had to balance... If you had to find a way to balance Hammer versus Jumping... It's almost like if you have hand Hammer Man, you need to have the boost even larger than just an extra attack point, right? Something needs to be done to make Hammer more worth it. Because, like, look, I could deal 14 damage with the jump, or I could deal 7 damage with the Hammer. That's how it works, right? I feel like there could be another way to buff the hammer. Unless I'm forgetting something. It also help When you also have spike shield for jumping, it's all over. Like, there is objectively no reason to really use Hammer. Also dealing with spiky Parabuzzies. Like, they are difficult to deal with, with uh, without jumping and Spike Shield. You can Hammer Throw, but you might be better off just using Earth Tremor. Sure, we'll take it. Fine. Oh, we got a mover. Okay, hold on. We're on level 19? Okay. okay. Let's go down five levels. So now we should be on floor... Uh, 24? Or 24. This is going pretty quickly. We'll see when we get to 440. Yeah, 24. That helped. And again, once we get past floor 50, the problem becomes, like, I don't want to skip out on enemies because... It could be an enemy that I'm missing for the tattle. So even if I get a mover, I might end up skipping. 
Uh, well, not using the mover is the way I meant. Let's see. Floor 26. bounce. The partner's just here, chilling. Be like, hey, how's it going? I'm here too. And even if, like, they can't clean up, it might even be better to have Goombello rally wink <laughs> instead. But that depends on the enemy. Another lucky day badge? Okay. This mouse. This thief. Got it. Another pretty lucky. That is mine now. You can't have it. pretty lucky. I don't think I need it, but yeah. How much does it boost? I mean, I don't think I'm going to equip it, but I wonder how much it actually boosts. You also kind of wish Kiss Thief actually you know, dealt damage as well, instead of just stealing the item, but eh. That makes me think of, like, Mug in, like, Final Fantasy. Steal uh, up upgrading to Mug. But, uh, eh, I guess it's fine. I guess you, eh, it's not a big deal. Just more just trying to find a conversation to talk about. Multi bounce. There we go. Wow, forty nine more fights, and I'll get a level up. In reality, eventually in the later tiers, we'll probably get more EXP, but for now, that's just kind of how it's looking like. All right, we made it to floor 30. I'm going to pause it for a second. I'm going to step away. I'm going to refill my water. Let, I think my dog might need to go outside. Take care of a couple things. Be right back.
Okay, okay, I am back. Let's see, refill my water, let my dog out. Gave her a bone because they just came in. All right, let's keep on going. We're doing pretty good on time, but we'll see how far we can get. Oh, wow, yeah, okay. First hit is five. Not enough to one hit KO with a multi bounce, but definitely with two hits. We are now at the point where they have more HP than a single jump attack. Multi bounce might be too weak now. Four damage. All right, multi bounce. Now let's go ahead and swap over to Ugo. Now it seems like my partners are going to have to go with cleanup or rally link, either or. Kind of at that point. Come on, attack me. There you go. There we go. Oh, uh, now, like, he could. He, this guy can't even do anything to me. It's not possible. You know, imagine if there was a jump attack that uh, let you ignore defense. Because there's one for the hammer. But I guess that's the entire point. Like, sometimes the hammer has niches that the jump can't do and vice versa. Like, the jump has sleepy stomp. But there's nothing for, like that for the hammer. So I guess it's... They just have their niches sometimes. Six damage for a single hit. Not enough, but I have to make sure to do that. Make sure he dies before he gets his attack off. We should have this taken care of. Okay, no, one HP. That's fine. Makes sense. Now for the normal attack. jump. Oh well. A multi-bounce will cover a good chunk of this. I don't care about the badge. You know, Pit of a Hundred Trials is actually something I wasn't able to do for the longest time. I was just not that good. Like 35, okay. I actually, the first time I actually beat the Pit of a Hundred Trials was my last playthrough of the GameCube version a few years ago. I actually, like, just, like, finally, like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the Pit of a Hundred Trials. I managed to do it. 
And I played the game like many other times before that, so it's cool. And this will probably be my second. This will be my uh, second attempt at beating the bit of under trials, whatever. And you know, uh, Super Paper Mario, I don't. I know for a fact I didn't do everything there. I think I just beat the game and that's about it. Ooh. Sleep sheep. You know what? I think I'll keep that. Let's get rid of a fright mask, because honestly I don't see that being that useful. It can help, but I don't think I want to. Multi-bounce will do the trick. Yeah, I tried Tornado Jump. It's it's not a good badge. Thought it would be better, but no, it really isn't that good. I'd rather have multi-bounce. You probably deal more damage that way. Tornado Jump should be able to hit every other enemy doesn't matter if they're in the air that would probably help it okay i have to okay. some are gonna be left alone. that's fine Definitely don't want that Koopa to be on his back. Oh well. Oh wow! One point of damage! I'm so scared. we get to floor probably in the 40s that's where the poison pokies and the big bombs are and i already have to be careful against these guys see okay so i have mario get rid of the shady koopa in the back and I could rally Link, but let's be honest. I don't need to spend the FP. It's not like he's gonna hurt me. There we go. Get out of here. Yes, 40 more fights, and then I can level up. Oh, a Kurt Shell. No thanks, I'm good. I could just, uh, power lift. Alright. 40? Alright, let's see how these go. knocked out, so it is in my best interest to get Goombella out here, Rally Link. Then we multi-bounce again. If there was another strategy, 
Actually, would Power Shell be able to do it? Even if they have the defense? Ah, uh, maybe. Basically costs a total of 6 FP to do something like that. Let's see. I don't have a way to make them all blow up unless I use Bobbery. That was 6 da- oh, okay. Multi-bounce it is. Get out of here. <laughs> get my FP back. They keep giving me HP, even though I'm at full health. Alright. What's the Pokey's HP at? Eight? Okay, I'm probably gonna have to hit him with, like, Koops. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hit him with Koops. Uh, this works out. Still at one star point. <laughs> uh, okay. It's gonna be a bit. Don't need Volt Shroom. I already have Zap Tap. It's not needed. I think I'll just go ahead and use the hammer. Alright. So, I need to... Oh, I don't need to. I'm gonna multi-bounce. I'm gonna try Power Shell. Alright, they still live, but it saves FP. There we go, it worked out. It saves a little bit of FP. drop. Are we at max? No, we're not. We still need to recover some FP. Ah, uh, you again. How many of you are here? Hmm. Yeah, I'm still gonna multi-dance. But I think I can't. I'm going to ignore it. Actually, no. I'm just gonna get Miss Mouse out of here. Here we go. This works out. Ah, oh, dang it! Stupid Miss. Yay! Pretty lucky. Ways to go. I really wish uh, first attack actually worked in the Pit of 100 Trials, but no. I could unequip it. Ugh. Alright. I could spend 6 FP. Or, I leave one alive. Well, let's save the FP. It's not gonna work. Here we go.
Eh, it's fine. I'll get it back. floor are we on? I'm gonna look here in a sec. I don't need a curved shell. I don't need that. 46. Ugh. Oh, it's you again. That coops can't take care of it. Not unless I spend a lot of FP to use Shell Slam or whatever. Well, that worked out in my favor. Miss Mouse. star point. Will that change once we get to floor 51? We'll find out in a few more rooms. Alright. One, one multi-bounce will do the trick. Not at the funny number yet. We're almost at the funny number. And we already passed 64, and I didn't really acknowledge it, but whatever. It's, a, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Wait, the hammer by itself already does 9 damage. So it is more powerful on a single attack, but... You know, when you have Jumpman for extra power, as well as two attacks, still doesn't make up for it. Yay, floor 50. We made it. No? No, I'm good. Alright. But before we do that, there's graffiti on the wall. Sw Swab's wish. I want to get married to uh, Bobo Link, my dear love, in a shocker wedding. I want us to have 22 kids. Enough for two soccer teams. Shablooey! This graffiti was scrawled on with a fierce hand. It doesn't seem like any amount of rubbing will erase it. Well, this is one way to get rid of graffiti. Blow it up. Blow up the graffiti. That's one way of handling it. Well, we'll take care of that later. Enemy? Yeah, it looks like it. Yep, new enemy. Title. Alright, that's a badge bandit. He's a bandit who will go after your badges. That jerk. HP is 12, attack of 5, and defense of 0. He has high attack power and HP. He sometimes steals badges when he attacks when he tackles you, so use your guard carefully. 
And even if he gets one, keep your cool, okay? If he runs from the battle, you can always find him and re-engage him. Alright. I'm getting rid of him first. He has a lot of HP. Alright, I'll get rid of the boot. We're still only at one star point. And I forgot to acknowledge we were at the funny number. Man, I'm bad at this. I'm a ter I'm an awful streamer. When I can't even acknowledge the funny number when it's relevant. Gah, you know I fail. One multi-bounce is not enough. And no one else can win. Alright. I'm gonna have Goombella work on... Let's get rid of the Dark Bird. We're not at easy street anymore. I kind of expected that, that's why I kind of wasn't that worried. Oh! I thought because I had, like, Ice Stomp or whatever, I would ig ignore that. My bad. Pretty lucky. I guess I needed the hammer for that one, I guess. Another Fright Mask. Just what I needed. What's next? Dark Blue. Ah, uh, I didn't... I didn't get the first attack. Oh, yeah, there are. Ooh. Okay, well... Let's get rid of a Dark Blue. We'll let Goombella go ahead and weaken Dark Blue. Hmm. I could use Earth Tremor. Yeah, Earth Tremor. Apparently, Crystal Stars ignore stuff like invisibility. And if that's true, this will work. Take out the Dark Blue, Goombella can get rid of the Bandit. There's that. And Goombella, you're up. There we go. Okay, now we're at the point where Mario cannot take down a full team by himself. Basically, if I wanted to do it one turn, I would have to Rally Wing. Which I can do, but that is a costly 6 FP. It can be done. But now I really have to consider it. Alright, well, it's four damage. Someone's gonna be left alive. Yeah, now we're at this trade off. Well, he wasted a turn. Get out of here. Yeah. 
Umbella needs one more heart to be at full health. She's almost back up to full. At full strength. Moon clefts, okay. Two damage per hit, and it's not enough to KO. You know what? Oops, if I'm gonna spend, like, 6 FP anyway, might as well Shell Slam. Now that I know that ignores defense, that's a really good move. That is a really good move. I just did not know that ignored defense. That's gonna help. How many of there are you? How many of whatever. So two multi bounces could do the trick. Or I or I just save one. Rally Wink. And then save the FP. As much as I like messing around with Sleep Stomp, so far it hasn't been that helpful because I'm too strong. And I have Soft Stomp as a just in case, but I don't know. I like lowering enemy defenses when needed, but I don't know. So far, it hasn't been helpful. Ah, uh, dang it. Couldn't jump on him. I should have gone with the hammer. Okay. Get rid of you. And... Either I spend FP to Shell Slam, or I just deal with it. Deal four damage now, take him out next turn. Yeah, we'll take him out. Is Gumbo at full? She is at full. I have a feeling we're at like floor 55 or something. So it's gonna be a bit. Come on. Ah, I should have waited. Should have had him come at me. Come at me, bro. Oh, okay. That's a lot of them. We're spending the FP. That is just a lot of them. Get out of here. Yay, hey, we're still at the single star point. We're still at it. And look, he dropped the Thunder Rage. I'll keep that. We'll save that. Uh... How about we get rid of the Mr. Softener? Okay. Where are we at? A mover. Okay. Wait a minute. Floor 59. Sorry, I am not using the mover. I need the next floor. Uh, what a horrible time to get the mover. And with our next treasure chest, 
we get double dip, which we already have. But now we have two double dips. So you get to triple dip? I guess. Oh my god, the mover. Okay, hold on. I still don't know what this is. This seems like a new enemy. Oh, do I use the mover? I think I can use it for... I, you know what? I think I can use it for five floor, floors. I think whatever new enemy is here will be in the last few rooms. Let's hope I made the right call. Because I still need a tattle. Yes. Okay, good. Here's one. I'm just gonna attack one at the moment. Leave one alive. Tattle. That's a dark Lakitu. It rides a, a rain cloud. HP 13, attack is five, defense is zero. It attacks you by throwing spiny eggs at you. If it's holding up a spiny egg, when you jump on it, you'll get hurt. And sometimes the spiny eggs it throws turn into sky blue spinies. Whoa! If you only attack the spinies, you'll never win. Go, so go after the dark black too. That's the thing. Excuse me, you can charge. Well then, um, I can't. I have to let him attack me. I have to let him attack me. Let's just defend. Let's just do this. Did he, did he just waste it? He just wasted his charge. Okay, he didn't waste it, but... There we go. Get out of here. Tattle. That's a sky blue spiny. It appeared from a spiny egg thrown by the dark Lakitu. HP 6, attack is 6, defense is 4. It will totally charge at you. Sometimes it balls up to defend and store energy for an attack. If you can, beat it and any buddies it may have with a special move. I actually can't do anything. It's completely immune. Just hold the fort. Now we can get, get rid of it. Get out of here. We still only have a single star point. Okay. You know, if I wanted star points, I think I'd be better off just refighting Rock Hawk. I think he gave me, like, four. If I wanted to level up. I almost did not make it. He could come back up. Normal jump. No other party member can defeat him right away. If I rally wink... Then we do this. There we go. We're at 79 star points. We're getting there. We're almost to a level up. Yay, a lot of FP. I need it back. Dark Wizards, which we have dealt with in the Palace of Shadow. And I'm pretty sure they have two defense. 10 HP. 
I'm better off just using Rally Wink. There we go. And here we go. Wait, how many is left in my tower log? Uh, 11 more enemies. Okay. I know pretty much all of them, but like maybe two are in here somewhere. I just don't know where. Perfect. Hmm. I think I might just save the FP. Even though I could rally Link, but I think I'm gonna save it. Yep, yeah, it's fine. I'll let him live. You shall live to fight another day. But for now, let's just appeal. Ah, uh, fine. Waste my turns, why don't ya? Can't really do anything. Alright. Let's get rid of you. Again, we're still at one star point. Floor 69. Noise. There we go. I acknowledged it this time. I acknowledged the funny number. And we are at 470. What is in our treasure? It is double dip P, which I already had. I already had them. Still need three more. Let's go. Again, I really hope I didn't skip any enemies, but I don't think I did. Okay. I had a feeling that wouldn't have been enough. Alright. Gumbella, Tattle. That's a wizard. It's a part machine, part organic, centuries old thing. HP 10, attack is 6, defense is 3. It uses magic to he uh, to attack, heal, and alter your condition, so stay on guard. Its defense is high, but we could totally take, it, take this thing. So, I guess I'll just... Hold it. Yeah, I can do two damage to you. Super guard. That's fine. That just boosts your attack. But what I can do is I can do... Hold on. Weaken you to one. Swap to Miss Mouse. Love slide. Uh, well, Zap Tap got it. Well, that's that's okay. Hey, we actually got EXP. Eight of it. We're finally gonna have a chance to level up. Probably next floor. 
now we're might we might be at the point where sleep stomp might be a useful move to consider. We'll see. Okay. Well. How about I just work on the chain chomp, I guess. And then I guess I'll just let... This mouse only attacks in the front, so we'll let Boo Gump go after the control for now. There we go. Well, that's something. Okay. Guard. Lucky. I deal two damage. Yeah, let's get rid of this one. Even though... No, I could have left him alive. He would have died next turn on his attack. Yeah, I could have targeted the other one. Oh, well, maybe not. Guard. Normal jump. And I'll get Miss Mouse out here. There we go. Are we at it? We are at a level up. Look at that. Level up. And you know what that means? More batch points. Uh, the batch points. Come on. There we go. Oh, wow. More fright masks. What can I equip now? Uh, types. I don't need that. I don't even know if I need these. Double dips, double dip P. All or nothing, baby. That's what we need. Eight power. And against these guys, nine power. There is no kill like overkill. Okay. The Swoopula is actually not a threat to me. I will focus on the Dark Coup Patrol. Ah, I shouldn't go for... Okay, I need to be more careful now. That's the problem with all or nothing. Okay, the okay, the Supula is actually a threat if it goes after my partners. Oh, I didn't I didn't mean to do that. That's fine. I'll live with it. What's that? Jump on you. There we go. Now we bring Ugump back in. There we go. Does all or nothing affect the partners, or is it just Mario? I'm actually not sure. Uh, only four. Only four. But that's okay. At least we're getting more than a single star point. So we can actually maybe level up again. Come on. Come on. Attack me. Look over here. Oh, dang. It's 
too busy taunting him. Okay, these guys are actually not a threat to me anymore. So I'm probably just gonna... One at a time. Because if they target Mario, they just get hit by Zap Tap. That is if they target Mario. Oh, they actually deal damage. I th didn't realize they took damage. I thought they just tried to suck on your HP. Up, up, up. In that case, maybe I got confused with the normal variants. Because the normal ones just kind of grab you and then suck your blood. Kind of like the fuzzies. I guess they just deal damage when they grab onto you, I guess. I don't know. Get out of here. I don't need you. Oh, still one star point. I guess when we fight the Koopa Trolls and the Chain Shops, that's when we get the... That's when we get the, sorry, the EXP. I might as well just use it. Why not? Uh, what floor am I on? I'm on 74. Yeah. So we already tattled the, the wizard. A lot of these guys. You know what? Nah, just Earth Tremor. They purposely made it to where they have six, uh, seven health instead of six. That way, Earth Tremor by itself won't be enough. So now, when it, whether I super guard or not, they are going to die because of Zap Tap. And I'll go ahead and get this mouse in here. I could have used Shell Smash instead of uh, Earth Tremor instead. Spend some FP. Same thing would happen, basically. Same results, basically. And we got 12 EXP out of that. Okay. It seems like it's enemies that are from the Palace of Shadow still give me EXP. Come on. Get in there. Ah, uh, another wizard. Takes two jump attacks for me to KO one. Oh, wait, no, a single one. Never mind. Okay. I'm gonna have to spend some F FP. Kiss Thief. Oh, that's where it is. I wasn't planning on Kiss Thief. But then I just thought about it, I'm like, oh yeah, let's just grab it. We'll deal with the attack. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. We'll leave Miss Mouse out for a little bit. Try to get her some health back from the drops. I was thinking Rally Wing, so that way I can, you know, knock him on his feet. I could have still done that. Oh well, it's all good. It's not really anything. 
Set my own HP. Wow, got three XP out of that. That's a lot. And hey, look, a dried shroom. Let's go ahead and use it. Perfect. Now Miss Mouse and I have the same amount of HP. Okay. So, put Earth Tremor. Now yeah, let's. Yeah, I could. I could. That's fine. I was thinking shell, uh, shell slam. It doesn't really matter who I target. Never mind, I failed. I mean, it wouldn't have killed anyway, but... Actually, it looked like it would have. Never mind. That was just me being bad. Yay, lucky day. Yeah, I would have gotten the kill. Dang. to floor 80. And then we're close. We're not there yet. I missed the sneak attack. Oh look, more chain chunks. Multi-bounce? If I shell slam, I can get rid of a lot. Well, I could get rid of two and weaken the control. Maybe it would have been better to just power smash, but power shell, oh well. <laughs> Patrol. Get out of here. And then let's go ahead and get Ugum back out here. Alright, he needs health back eventually. There we go. Done. Four okay. EXP. We're slowly making our way to another level. Another courage shell. I don't need that. Come on, I know we're almost at 480. Ugh. Come on. There we go. There we go. Alright. I'm just gonna save FP. He got health back. I mean, Ugum can still take care of it. Ah, dang. Not getting my timing right. Oh, well, it's fine. We'll be okay. Oh, I just realized this one would still be alive. Well, nothing I could do about it. Yeah, they're 
There was nothing else I could do except Rally Link. Let's see who you're gonna attack. Finally got the Super Guard off. There we go. Only a single star point. Hey, look, honey syrup. Might as well use it. It's not going to hurt anything. It was a free drop anyway. There we go. Made it. And in the treasure we get Bump Attack to defeat weak foes by bumping into them on the field. Just bumping into them. Oh yeah, first attack, first attack is zero FP, I forgot. So, it just means there's no way you can fight weaker enemies now. You don't even have to jump on them or use your hammer. Which is fine. But five FP, I don't know. At this point, I don't need it. Six damage per hit. They have some defense. If I were to... You know what? I think I need to Rally Link and multi-bounce. Make this go faster. Link. There's that. Yeah, it's a big spender. I guess rather than all this turn. I could have saved FP and rally linked, but there would be one left if I just did normal attacks. But we have 50 ex uh, experience right now. So that's nice. Does someone need healing still? Uh, there we go. There we go. Sure, why not? It was free. Floor number 82. What are we at? Well, at least I could jump on ya. Okay, I gotta be careful. How about we multi bounce? I gotta find another one. Oh. And we got uh, an Arantula. It's a spider-like creature that li lives deep underground. HP is 16, attack is 7, defense is 0. Yeah, it's pretty tough. It'll spit web wads at you. Sometimes it even attacks several times in a row. That coloring freaks me out. I'm kind of scared of spiders, so let's do this quickly. that work? Multi bounce. With all my attack buffs, two multi bounces would do the trick. I still need that other enemy I accidentally killed. So I'm gonna have to uh, keep an eye out for it. Here, let's give this to Gumbella. Let her get, get one point of health back. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I gotta keep an eye out. No movers for me. Okay, I got rid of one. You know what? Let's just attack the other Arantula normally. Because I already know I could just jump on the other guy and KO him. Tattle. That's a Dark Bristle. 
It is an ancient creature made of rock. HP 8, attack up 8, defense of 4. You can't jump on it because of its spikes, and you can't approach it due to its spears. And its defense is high. You better take it out with special moves or items. And says you, Goombella. Joke's on you. I have high attack. And spike shield. Joke's on you, Goombella. What are you talking about? Mushroom. I might as well use it. Uh, me. The bell only has one HP. Well, one HP low. It's fine. Ooh. Here we go. We're getting all the new enemies right now. We'll attack normally. Get rid of this one. And now we'll tap. There we go. That's a piranha plant. In fact, I think this is the strongest type of them all. HP 15, attack of 9, defense is 0. His attack power is absurdly high. It may look like a normal piranha plant, but don't be fooled. It's super tough. If we get beaten by a flower, we'll never hear hear the end of it. You know what I mean? Uh, pretty lucky. That helped. Time to KO it. Right now, we're kind of at the point where two power, uh, two multi bounces, will take care of like all of these enemies. But that's also a costly six FP. Mushroom, we can use that on no one. Sure. Mushroom just. Uh, Mario just eat a random mushroom for no reason. I thought it actually wouldn't let me. But no, it, it lets you. Okay, how many of there? How many of you are there? Oh, uh, that's a lot. That is a lot. What? Uh, get out of here! Yeah, we'll spend it. I'll probably consider using Supernova here. Link. Two bounce. I'll probably end up using Supernova one of these uh, battles. But we got 25 EXP out of this, so we level up. We get the full heal. And with that, more BP. We're at 90. Do we need 90 BP? No, but we're going to try to make use of it. We have become a superstar. Now the crowd's even bigger. Don't need this. But it's better than the honey syrup. Okay. What can I equip? Other than just more attacking options that I don't really use. To re-equip charge that I don't really use. I don't think I need this. Damage dodge, I could equip one back on if I wanted to. No. no. Another pretty lucky? I mean, it was kind of random, but we could. Hmm.
Yeah, sure, why not? Have an extra pretty lucky. Maybe. I don't know. We might change that. That was just a lucky drop. Okay. I could rally Link in normal attack, and then there will be one left. Or I could rally Link in multiple times. Yeah, sure. Let's just get rid of them all. I just recently got the full heal. Get out of here. I was just thinking about Flower Saver. I was just thinking about Flower Saver. Well, I don't think I could. I really need Flower Saver another one because it won't go to zero. It will just stay at one. It would just lower down something else. I could get Flower Saver P instead. Um, actually, no, I can't. Not right away. Okay, this is definitely a uh, multi-bounce. Multi-bounce everything. Rally Link. Then multi-bounce again. consider Supernova next time we run into a big crowd. Just to try to get my FP back, pretty much. Another Arantula. Okay, you know what? I'll rally link again because I only need to use normal jumps. Normal jump. definitely get another level at some point before the final final floor what floor are we on 88 okay two more plant i didn't get the i didn't get it all right my options are uh, two uh, multi-bounces, or you know what, let's use Supernova, try to save some FP, try to get some back. You know, so I don't really use star power that much, so I'm not going to struggle. I'm not going to struggle getting it back. Go. Exactly 15. Alright. What is next? It is floor 90. And at floor 90, we get another treasure chest. We get... Lucky Day. Lucky Day is 7 BP. Now, something I want to consider. Oh, dang. Should have done that first. I want to look up... 
I would need to unequip every every single uh, pretty lucky to equip lucky day. Uh, I want to know the percentage. Lucky day. Okay, lucky day. Let me pull that up. So, on. stronger version is reward for putting a chain of side quest. No, that's Paper Mario. Uh, a thousand year door is reward for 90th floor found in the treasure chest as well as a prize from the Happy Lucky Lottery. Uh, let's see. Could be rarely dropped by swamp pyres. If you equip the badge, all attacks of his enemies have a 25% chance of missing entire entirely. Okay, so that's a 25% chance reduction. Let me go to pretty lucky. Okay, let's see. There's a 10% chance for Pretty Lucky. The chance is not as great as the one by Lucky Day, which is 25%. The chance of attacks missing is increased with multiple copies of the badges equipped, as well as other badges that reduce it. Um, it says 10%. So what I'm not sure of is... Does this mean 30%? Or is it more like 27? If that's even... No, actually no. It would be more like 18. Can I get a... Hold on. Let me check something. Here's the math. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. Wait. Is the badges for... It sounds like it's... It sounds like this is 30% right here. That's what it sounds like. Wait. Oh, wait. Just the sum of their evasion rates gets the total evasion. In actuality, though, evasion is cal calculated by multiplying the properties of the badge. So this would be worse than lucky day. I think that's right. Um, that sounds right. Okay. So if I'm looking at this right... Every span of this one. No, okay, wait a minute. If I'm looking at this right, this is actually more. It's at a 27% chance than this. If I did not get this pretty lucky drop, I would have been better with lucky day instead. These two, it looks like a 19% evasion. This is 25%. These three are 27.1. Is there something else I could unequip? Or am I kind of liking what I have? Give 
know what? What if I do this? If I do this, one lucky day, one pretty lucky, this looks like a 32% chance. That's what it's looking like. Well, let's just hope I don't need uh, sleep or soft stomp. Ten more floors. We're at the final set. Okay. I'm gonna try to get rid of this one. Okay, good. Two normal attacks will do the trick. Let's tattle. That's an elite wizard. This is the top of the heap for half machine organisms. HP is 12, attack is 8, defense is 5. You could probably guess this, but it uses various magic moves in battle. And if it's alone, it will create illusions of itself. It has no real weakness. So just use whatever you got to beat it, okay? Let's go, Mario. Ouch. Okay, I made that work. I am just gonna focus on the wizard. Try to weaken it. Tattle. Swamp pie. That's a Swampire. It is, fear it is a feared health sucker that hides in darkness. HP is 20, attack is 6, defense is 0. It sucks health from its prey to add to its own HP. And that totally grosses me out like you wouldn't believe. If you let it feast on you, its HP will get really high. Focus your attacks on it. The wizard recovered itself. My jump attack deals... Not enough. Hold on. I'm thinking... Let's get Vivian in. Wait. Yeah, let's get Vivian in here. I'm gonna Shade Fist the Elite Wizard. Get it burned. Maybe I could have fiery drinks, but I don't know. Thank you, lucky day. Ugh. The reason why I wanted to get it burned... Because now I think I can ignore it. Now that it's alone... Let me get... Miss Mouse out here. Let's weaken him. And when he's alone, he's gonna multiply. But because he's burned, there we go. So Vivian getting the burn off on a wizard bef when it's alone, before it, uh, before it clones itself, it definitely, uh, I'm sorry, it will waste its turn, basically. Where are we at? We have five more to grab. In all reality, there's probably three more within the pit itself. one of them. I'm pretty sure there's going to be multiple. Okay. That's... I'm getting rid of one. I'm going 
Cinderella. Saddle. That's a poison puff. Basically just a puff of poisonous air. HP 15, attack is 8, defense is 0. It's poison gas attack is 10. These things charge you, but they also save up toxins and poison you with them. Scum. Plus, you can't touch them when they're saving up toxins or you'll get hurt. So annoying. Okay, they went after Goombella. I'm okay with that. What's going to be more important? That's a Bob Oak. That's easily the biggest Bob Oak I've ever seen. You're attempting a challenge, Jesse. What challenge are you attempting? Max HP is 10. Attack is 4. Defense is 2. It won't attack, but once it's fused, it's lit. It'll explode after a while. Pre-hooked... Ooh, pre-hooked tail pit. I've heard about that. So the problem is, how to beat it before it goes off? I mean, it's Bob Attack has a power of 16. That's no joke. Seriously, watch out for that. Defense is 2. Just go on, beat it, pull it off all the stops. Or you could just set off early the fire explosions. Your call. This is 2. I do 8. 6. Okay. I can get rid of the Poison Puff. You're stuck on floor 45? Ouch. What's, uh, what's getting rid of it? Or what's the problem? Ooh, no. Okay. Let's just jump like normal. Yeah, this is just a badge only run. So, like... And apparently now this is a 100% run, because I was told that there's something you get for 100%. Spiky, ooh, right, the spiky buzzy beetles. Uh, and you don't have Earth Tremor, that's right. There is a way for you to beat it, and that's just Super Guards, I think. I, you know what's funny? I literally watched a video yesterday talking about someone doing a challenge run of a prologue pit. And I think they had to basically use uh, super guards. I think they also might have had uh, thunder rages. But those might be your options. Okay. Normal jump. Pro is impossible in, this. in the Switch version? Yeah, I think it is impossible. But obviously he was playing GameCube. Because to do prologue pit, it's about like doing a glitch. You know. Can't really they probably patched it out on this one. But yeah, I think in that one he either had to super guard. Or he had to or he had a, a uh, sorry, a thunder rage to take him out. I guess I might as well get rid of the fog. Might as well, right? Let's see. Do I get my FP back? Nope. Timed it wrong. Yes, go ahead. Multiply yourself. Oh no, my audience is asleep. Yeah, no, you have to rely on super guards if you don't have an item. That's just what you're gonna have to do. By the way, which version are you playing? Are you playing Switch or GameCube? Not that it really matters, but I'm just curious. Switch? I see. And you're probably going to be relying on Fire Drive a lot. Yeah. 
At least Fire Drive igno ignores some defense. Well, actually, it ignores defense unless the enemy is just immune to fire. I think that's how it works. Alright. What floor am I on? 93. We're almost there. By the way, Jesse. Uh... You do have a Thunder Rage, you just want to save it. Right now, the best use is the... Is those bug... Uh... Parabuzzies. Spiky Parabuzzies. Oh, okay, here we are. Um... Amazing Daisies. I think I need to treat this as... They are going to run away. I think that's how I have to treat this. I think if they're gonna run away, it's gonna be first, so... I could have supernovaed. Oh no, he goes first. Oh! Okay, one ran. One of them ran. You have one defense. Uh, there was something in my head. Okay. Sorry. I am told there is another super boss in this version. I already fought Prince Mush. I'm told there's another super boss. And there might be another enemy I'm missing. Another new enemy, I should say, that I don't know about. Without being specific on... Uh, like, who it is? Do you think you could tell me... How to fight them. So you have one defense. I think it is in my current best interest to get Goombella in here. Let's focus on the Amazing Daisy. That won't be enough. So let's rally Link. If if you if you know of what I'm talking about, okay. And if you want to avoid spoilers, that's all good. I might just have to look it up myself. Well, I'm definitely getting a level out of this. I'm not gonna burn him. That's a for sure thing. But because I am not going, because I am going to level up, I'm going to rally Link. There we go. Might as well do this because I don't think it's going to hurt anything. Normal jump. Yeah, I already fought Prince Mush. He's a hard fight. But there's, I think there's another super boss that I don't know about. I hope I didn't just spoil Prince Mush for you. Anyway, more BP. And let's see. Ooh, ooh, an Ultra Shroom. I'm keeping that. That's in the too good to use. Let's get rid of... Fright Mask. Okay, let's see. I have three more. I think I might just throw in... Sure. Then we'll throw in... Not gonna say. Well, I don't need you to tell me who it is, but if you can look slash find out how to fight this person, I wouldn't mind knowing that. I might already know who it is, thanks to YouTube potentially spoiling me. 
Oh yeah. You know what? Supernova. I'm working on that. <laughs> I am literally working on that right now. I'm almost to Bone Tail. But I'm told there is another one. Or there seems to be an implication of another one. need the mushroom. Floor 95. You see, uh, I say this because if I look at the title log, I have three more. There's the Shadow Queen, there's a mystery here, and there's Prince Mush. But this is where Bone Tail probably will be. Am I missing another enemy? Oh yeah, and there's one more enemy that's actually confusing me. There's an enemy between Spiky Gloomba and Koopa Troopa. And when I was looking at the GameCube title log, that looks like it's new. And whatever it is, I don't know where it's at. I don't know what it is. Bone Tail is interesting. I fought Bone Tail in GameCube once before. But that's it. Okay, I can do this. Multi bounce. Bella. Rally Link. There we go. Now another multi bounce. Not enough to level up. Maybe we'll look. You know what? We'll probably level up again before Bone Tail. healing. 96. I'm very close. Very close. Okay, this is easy. This is an easy decision. Normal jump for you. And get Vivian out here. And let's get you burned. There we go. Now he might go for the boo sheet. Yeah. I can't hit him unless I use like Earth Tremor or something. But you know what? I think I'm just gonna appeal. He's gonna try to Shadow Clone Jutsu and then get hit by Burn and then he'll be back to normal. Oh, never mind. Normally he's Shadow Clones. That's weird. Okay. Maybe he knew I couldn't hit him. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Is it a new reason added to Switch? Because if it is, I'll find out soon enough. Okay, I'll find out soon enough.
Tasty tonic. I don't need this. I don't need this. 97. Almost there. Interesting decision. Hmm. I want to get rid of the item. It really? Well, I'll find out here in a second. I, I kind of want to save my star points, I think. Oh, come on. You know what? I'm probably going to level up before Bone Tail. I'm not dealing with this. I mean, I know it's not going to kill them all, but it's going to kill the one with the item. And the one in front. I'm not dealing with fog. I don't want the chance to miss. There we go. Got rid of the one with the item. And... Lucky. Okay. Well, I'll just attack normally. That works out fine. I'll keep Goombella. It's fine. Hey, by the way, I, uh, I want to know if you know this. Does all or nothing work on partners? It doesn't seem to. It seems to only affect Mario. Probably, I think it's... Yeah, it could get rid of the enemy fog, but like, he couldn't really hit them unless I spent nine FP. I didn't really want to get rid of my fog, so it's like, yeah. And I gotta level up anyway. Look, 96 BP. Look at that. I I just say there's never enough BP. All right. And I am thinking we go with. I know they're pretty lucky, because I got this as a drop. And... Sure. I'm gonna see if I can save FP or star power. But we'll find out. We shall see. How many of them are... How... Whatever. Okay. I'm spending FP. It's either that or star power. I'm spending FP. I'm not letting him use that item. Okay. Multi bounce. By the way, I didn't tell you this, but when I did my bet, when I'm doing this run, I specifically banned the combo of. Power bounce and like mega rush. Because I felt like that's just too easy of a strategy if you're doing badge only. Wanted to be at least a little creative. Hey, look, I get my full F FP back before the fight. How nice. The game's being nice to me. Now let's see. Here we are. into the fight. A separate remix of Hooktail. It has like the choir. 
Oh. Wow, what a freak. Just leave it at that, huh? I guess I'll just attack normally? Wait, the music's a little different. Yeah. No, that's right, that's right. Okay, defense boost. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> now let's check the tattle. And thanks for the follow, Joyce Gamic. How is your day going? We just made it to Bone Tail. That's Bone Tail. She's the older sister of Hooktail. So old, she's just bones. In fact, wow. Now that's old. Her body's max HP is 200. Her attack is 8. Her defense is 2. She has various breath attack. Breaths that might confuse us or put us to sleep. When her HP gets low, she'll recover or reanimate. As the case may be. Reanimate? She's probably stronger than your basic final boss type. Seriously, let's do this right. Reanimate? Is that the new gimmick? Wait. Super... Super Guard didn't do anything. Super Guard did no damage. Okay. And do this the normal way. And that's on me failing. That's fine. I guess I'll save the FP. I guess I should have so uh, Soft Stomp, but... Might be immune to statuses. Okay. Oh, Bone Tail's male in the GameCube? Okay, so that's a weird retcon. Is Bone Tail male in the GameCube Japanese version? not because that's the only explanation I could think of look at the original Japanese text for GameCube but I don't really have a, uh, a way to tell I don't really have a good way to spend FP so let's just normal jump I'm probably gonna want to use sweet treat in here in a second I'll rally back. I get stylish. Oh well. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to do some healing. Uh probably just normal sweet tree. Right, you could just redo boss fights, right? They actually allow that for Pit of 100 Trials? That's actually surprising. Okay, I got the lucky. Goomba was frozen for a very long time. I could keep her in to use it up. Or, let's get Bobbery in here. Hmm. Bomb squad? Sure. Oh, 
Oh, I gotta be careful. Oh, wait. Babari's asleep. Okay. I have to sweet treat. At the very least. Oh, then Pivahun Trials isn't as much of a threat, isn't it? I might have to sweep these. Or use an item. Okay. Well, Bobbery can attack now. I'm probably going to have to considering, uh, consider using an item. Okay. Watch out. There we go. Got it. Oh, got the super guard and the lucky. Oh, that's only one damage. That that's not perfect. It's better to normal attack. You died at 4:45 a few times. I see. I see. At least you're not playing GameCube for this challenge. That once you die, that's it. Okay. Way through. And we avoided the bite. We avoided the bite of 87. Molly, you're being weird. My dog's being weird. I'm really risk. You know what? Do I have a cheap item? Yeah. It, one, it would take forever, and two, if you die, it's time to start from the beginning. Okay. I guess Miss Mouse would do the same amount of damage now I'm looking at it. Oh. Oh, just a 20 HP heal. How oh, cheap. Oh, I should have used star points. Eh, there's a chance I would have failed. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't do it. Ooh, 20 HP recovery again. It's probably... Bone Tail's probably limited to doing that, like, two or three times. Probably can't do any more than that. Okay, I left out. If you died her, I don't think you could change badges. That's fine. I don't have a problem with it. While my badges isn't necessarily the best, I could have had... So I Probably could have used Soft Stomp. That's okay. Okay, I'll be okay. Actually, speaking of which... Speaking of Soft Stomp, hold on. I have a Mr. Softener. Okay, yeah, I had a feeling that might not have worked. Okay, you attack Bobbery. That's fine. By the way, don't think Zap Tap ha helps. No, it probably doesn't. By the way, did you know that uh, Grubba, Macho Grubba can be put to sleep? It was so funny that I used sleep, sleep, sorry, that I used sleep stomp and put him to sleep and Macho Grubba couldn't do anything. Okay, I have to heal. I'm gonna sweet treat. I 
might even have Bobbery use another healing item on me. Yeah, I'm gonna have him use another healing item. Have another super. There we go. And I'll be fine. Gumbella cannot ra uh, rally wink. Not unless I sweet treat. But we're almost there. I got lucky. Bobbery's still fine. Normal jump. I messed that up. That's on me. All or nothing, you know? Okay, let's try that again. Bobbery, hang in there. Hang in there, Bobbery. You got this. You're a champ, Bobbery. Oh, oh. That's a lot of coins. What was that? Excuse me? A single star point. A single star point for that. What was that about uh, reanimation? Because it didn't work. I, I was expecting an extended fight. Return postage. Well, we beat Bone Tail. This is the lowest level of the Pit of the Hundred Trials. A zombified dragon named Bone Tail used to protect this room. Used to protect this room. Yuck! Mario, I bet you're the first person to make it this far. I totally knew you could do it. Now let's get out of this creepy place and go back to the world above. Oh, was that true in the original? I think I forgot about that detail. Alright. It's kind of dumb. But, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Congratulations! You have tamed every single badge, whether earned or uncovered, purchased or found. The complete collection is now is now at your fingertips. As proof of your efforts, we've sent you a special reward, the badge trophy. Check your useful items to admire it yourself or show it off to your friends. You earned the right to brag. Stop. There we go. See? I got the badge trophy. See? I can brag. Yeah, you know what's funny? I got, uh, when I fought the Shadow Queen, I got the double EXP. To find out that it didn't, the Shadow Queen doesn't give EXP. So, I gotta, I gotta turn in a tattle. Or, not tattle, trouble. Speaking of tattles, there are two trouble, there are two tattles left. If you do not mind, can you tell me where they are? I need to go to Far Outpost. Uh, just in case you need a reference. Number 10 on the Switch. 133 on uh, Switch as well. Go finish the trouble. I blew up your graffiti. Does it snow up in the moon? Oh, Bluey, where does the snow come from anyway? Just kid, just think about it. Make my head. No, wait, was it the guy next to the can cannon? I think it was this guy. So, you erased my graffiti, Shabbat. You erased it, Shashroom. I am so grateful to you. 
But it is not like I can confirm whether you actually erased it or not, Shabu. Oh well, I guess I will trust you, Sh Shakity. Take this reward, Shapow. Says T made it for me while I was told when I told her how much I was missing the snow. Shafu. Snow Bunny. That's another way to get in, I guess. I'm gonna start trying to fulfill my own wish now. But you cannot tell anyone what it is. Shafoom. Promise me, Shakroom. Alright. That's that. Now there's two enemies I am missing. I have no clue what they are. I might have to look it up myself. I'm gonna go to the inn and heal up and make a save. Start with that. Gonna try to wrap it up. Yeah, I totally need 3,000 coins. Alright. I am gonna pull it up myself. Uh, let's see. T catalog. Let's see. Does this list update with the uh, new ones? No, not this one. Okay, this might be... Yeah, this might be talking about the new one. Okay, good. Hmm? Found it. Oh! Okay, hold on. Okay, we're going to take care of this right now. Well, one of them anyway. Hold on. I didn't know this. Talk to the battle master. Practice action commands. Uh, train up. Well, it was practice moves. Sure. Begin. Yes. Tattle. This is also a new song I've never heard. That's a goom board. It's a, it's a goomba drawn on a board. I think the master made this. He's surprisingly talented. It's unclear what its max HP is. No attack or defense either. This thing is sturdy though. It won't break no matter how hard you hit it. So don't hold anything back. So that's one of them. Okay, slight spoiler, but oh well. It is what it is. Yeah, okay, let me figure out the other one. No, not that one, no. There it is, I knew it. I just, wait. What? I have to go back through the Pit of 100 Trials? Mario received a special email describing a fable creature spotted in the depths of the Pit of 100 Trials. We need to get all the way to the 100th floor again? Oh, I didn't know. Okay. That's okay. I wasn't expecting that. I guess we're doing one more stream, one more attempt through the Pit of 100 Trials. We did it. I did it once before. I can do it again. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I am doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There is a link in the about page. If you like this, maybe give it a follow if you're interested. Maybe. I don't know. It's up to you. I don't make the rules. I'm not your father. Anyway. 
Yeah, we can at least use Mr. Mover at the very least. Okay, we have to get all the way back down to the 100th floor. Have a good day. Later.